Good morning, folks. Welcome to the big Saturday stream, where I typically start with uh, Wayward, which we will be doing again today because it's a fun little game. It's it's a nice little indie game. Yeah, it's fun. So we'll be starting with that, and later, if I'm streaming more, we'll be doing Shadows of Loathing and more Minecraft. <laughs> but for now, Wayward. But before we get into that, I am still fundraising for the LGBTQ Freedom Fund, which helps pay bail to secure the safety and liberty of individuals in jail and immigration detention. They also work to adjust a disproportionately high rate and harm of jailing on LGBTQ individuals, which is a tangle of discrimination and poverty. Because unfortunately, a lot of us LGBTQs tend to not be as well off as our cis counterparts. So... If you are able or and or willing to support this, below my stream I have a donate button that goes to the Tiltify campaign that I have set up. And I also have a donate command, exclamation point donate, that is shared every so often in the chat. And I have a donate command to directly get you that. And when the stream comes up, I have a QR code you can scan to donate that way. Any way you choose to do so, it's great. You'll appreciate it. Good morning, friend. Good morning. Thank you for the hydrate. I've got the coffee right here. <laughs> ah, delicious. Hope you are doing well. Hope you're able to re relax this morning. This last week was hectic as shit for me, so I can imagine it was hectic for other people as well. Alrighty, let's see that down and let's get the game going because that's kind of why we're here Come on, get there you go. Oh, I re I remember. Um, I I did a very quick like file uh, last stream just to see how fast we could get to the um, the solar still, and I was able to get into it like get get a few made on like day one. That's not what we're doing though. We're doing a uh, I think this one. That's. Uh, Yep, this is the one. Alright. So let's take stock of what we have as far as metalworking stuff goes. We've got a bunch of wrought iron. we got a bunch of tongs. i got a bunch of wrought iron. Um, hmm. So we've got no talcum, at least here. Very little carbon, very little limes. Yeah, we're gonna probably need some uh, supplies. Oh. I just realized I'm carrying like a metric shit ton of uh, wrought iron still. Whoopsie, uh, let me uh, just try to drop some of that on the floor. Okay, cool. <laughs> Okay, it looks like I do have some talc here and the, the rest of the wrought iron, apparently. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to get some more supplies. This garden's looking pretty nice. What we got done here? I think I do want to get another farm going down here, just sim simply for spreading plants. And that said, I could just, uh... Mm. 
I think his setup is fine for now. Because, yeah, with this uh, fertile soil, let's plants uh, spread when they fully grow. So that you can get more seeds that way. You can get more seeds faster that way, rather. What is this? Oh, a golden sextant, huh? Now, at some point, I am going to want to clear this laying out so I can have another uh, farm area over down here. But that time is not now, so these apples get, apple trees get to stay there. Alright. So I need carbon. I need. I probably need some more talc as well, but... An iron hammer, granite axe... We have upgraded to an iron pickaxe though, because it's makes you mine a lot more at once, which is good. It's what we need. Um, kind of want to leave this iron hammer at home so I don't waste it on like random bullshit. Which is this thing way two point seven. Alright, cool. And I'll just put the rest of this uh, wrought iron in the box here. <clears throat> see, that chest there is that. Uh, feathers, I want to say I have a spot for them. Oh! <laughs> Hello! Hello, spider. Goodbye, spider. So I was just trying to, I don't know, move, <laughs> and the spider just like tried to, to jump my bones, which I mean, you know, yeah, sure, but let's maybe not do that, because you'll just be dead. key for my hoe is six. I think we found like a tin hoe or something last stream when we were exploring. It's currently nighttime though, so we're gonna go and... S oh, that's the chicken. I was like, why can't I move here? And the reason is because there's a creature there and it is a chicken. Yeah, we're gonna take a sleep drink some coffee in real life. I don't know if coffee is in this game. Is up for 10 hours? Fuck, I wish that were me. <laughs> I don't I don't usually get to sleep quite that long. Alright, well. We can wake up, go to this plant that uh, just made a pineapple for us. We can eat the pineapple. Get the seeds. We're gonna tear that up. We'll replant the pineapple to let it spread some more. Cause as it is, that pineapple, and we're just we're just growing pineapples along the little beach here. If we really felt so inclined, we could set down more sand for these pineapples to grow in. As I kind of go. As it is, I already have a lot more f food security than I would have otherwise, just because if I really need food, I can go fish, or I can, oh, look at this little chungus down there. Or I, was I, was, I was about to say, I can either go fish, or I can just, like, find, like, a giant rat or something and beat it down. Because I am a little powerful, a little, a little defensively inclined right now. I've got like 22 defense. 
<clears throat> I can fight most things pretty easily <clears throat> on this character. Let's get some seawater. And let's make some glue out of our brains. Cook that. I gotta say, cooked tainted meat of featherweight. That's great. Sure. <laughs> Whatever works, I guess. Um, well, I was planning on just eating this. And then getting some water, drinking it. So yeah, we're gonna do that. Tainted meat can poison you, but I haven't had that happen in a in a in a minute. So I haven't actually I actually haven't eaten the tainted meat for a while either. I usually just kind of throw it away, but might as well if it's it's free food. Uh, is it good free food? Maybe not, but. Let's actually reinforce a little shovel here, cause. It's, it's done us good work for a while. I think we kind of lucked out when we made it, because, yeah. I think we made that pretty early. Alright. And we can make this cooked pem- We could cook our pumpkin in more, uh... Fat. But that would, um... We could, cook, we could cook it in more fat, but that would um, make it start spoiling again, which the whole point of pemmican is to where it like, doesn't do that, you know? So it's like, hmm, seems like a little counterproductive. But you can do it. Hmm... What's this? Oh, that's woven fabric. That would explain things. Um, I would like to make some more torches. We've got these uh, tallow torches. We need a pole in this fabric right here. Okay, we're going to dismantle this log to get some planks spent to the planks uh, shark tooth oh no all right yeah I'd rather use the tallow here to make uh, these torches because they're very useful uh, does okay it does spoil I mean you can't eat tallow but you probably shouldn't it's one of those, you probably shouldn't do that kind of things. Uh, with cordage here, we can make just some more uh, fabric here. Maybe. Doesn't need to be very good uh, fabric. All right, we have those torches for backup. Do I have a chest for that? No, this is just the seeds. Uh, what's this? Sharp granite? You know, Florida, you don't need those. Uh, do I have a spot for the little rocks? It's probably down there. No, there's some already down there, so we'll put the rest there as well. Trying to stay organized with my discrete piles on the floor. <laughs> and what I could start doing is trying to like go into this like big pile of rocks here and start just making granite floor.
We're kind of like in a weird state of like living partially in the mountain and partially not in the mountain, just because that's kind of how it shuck, it shuck out there. And let's drop these poles. We don't need them right now. Wait, what did I pick this? Did I have more than one of these uh, sextants? I don't know what the purpose that serves. I guess I had more than one of these compasses or sextants or whatever. That's fine, it can exist, I guess. Let's have some pile of needles on the floor here. I'll add this fur. I'm trying to lighten my load a little bit before we go uh, gallivanting around underground looking for more stuff. Also need to drink some water. Probably in real life too, so I'm gonna do that. <sighs> yeah. Let's see, purified water in the still. Let's take a drink. And that, that's, again, like the, the 10 millionth time I've like just ranted and raved about these uh, solar stills. They're so overpowered. When the, you pour you pour seawater into them. You make sure there's a, a, a container attached, and then it just kind of does it for you, you know, because that's how you know it's how the sun works. It kind of just desalinates the water, and then when you come back, there's just water, and then you can just drink from it, add more seawater, and do it all again. All right. Well, I don't know how much more stuff is underground on this part of the island. But we can certainly just kind of go looking. What is that? I think that's tin. Yeah, we don't really care for that. There's not much down here that would scare me on this island. Uh, let us light our torch, though. That'll let us explore a little bit more uh, usefully. There's some talc. If I was smart, I would have started up some uh, charcoal making while I was down here, but I'm not always very smart. <clears throat> I can't remember. Okay, talc is slightly lighter than the rock it comes from on average. So crushing it first before putting it in your bag just Mix it or you can carry even more shit. Ooh, what do we have over here? Let's drop the rocks. We don't be able to... Oh, hello. Hello, ghost. Yeah, the ghosts can't really do much damage to us, and our torch is an effective weapon against them. Uh, let's see, we've got granite and a scale ca Oh, that's actually a, probably an upgrade. Let's see. Two defense, one base, minus one fire, minus one blunt. No, oh, plus one fire. I can't read. Uh, okay, so there's one more defense. In general. But if something hits with like a piercing attack it brings it back down to like plus one which is still probably better than my whatever i'm wearing now plus now we look a little more cohesive like a little dragon it's kind of cool <laughs> uh i guess we'll just put that in our bag for now we'll probably dismantle it what is that's not ominous it's just a random torch here a tin Ten. It's probably tin as well. Yeah, I'm looking for talc and uh, talc and limestone down here. Pretty sure all this is tin. It's kind of hard to tell with some of these because some of them look really similar to each other so it's, they usually just kind of like 
mouse over it to see what what's there some bark leggings all right great okay we already kind of went up that way it looks like we've been down this way before but i'll check again anyway because it may sound like it's really hard to do so I might have also like ran out of inventory space and had to like leave and come back or something. Okay, that loops back there. Hmm. Well, maybe this cavern section is a bit of a bus now. I mean, if it really felt like it, I could just start randomly digging through the earth to try to find another cave, but that seems like it'd be a waste of pickaxe durability. It would get us a lot of stones, but meh, don't really need that. Alright, so I kind of went down there. Let's go up this way. Pretty sure I probably explored this section all like m long time ago, but maybe there's some stuff down here I just didn't get yet. Other than tin, because you you unfortunately need uh, resources to work with tin. You can't just like cold forge tin, which I feel like makes it to where tin is never used for fucking anything. Because if you've got to use like some of the same stuff you used to work iron with, yeah, there's no way in hell you're gonna want to do that I know I don't Grant, I'm already up to the point where I'm using iron anyway so that's probably part of the problem but yeah I basically went straight from stone and like leather slash scale stuff to where I'm making metal now let's see what do we have here tin tin I mean I'm not I, I'm not like a, a game dev myself so I'm just kind of talking out my ass but it feels like having to do like talcum powder or limestone or whatever with tin is not <coughs> a very good um, idea because iron needs talcum and uh, limestone and carbon, which that's a lot, but iron is much better than iron. Iron is worth the. Uh, the resources to do I think it makes the best stuff with with tin being kind of, with tin and copper being like kind of like the lowest tier metals it, it having them use some of the stuff used for iron is um, no one's ever gonna use gonna use tin because you don't really need metals. I mean, you don't really need metals anyway, but they definitely make the best stuff. Ooh, what do we have? A lot of talc. It looks like like a lot of talc. Jeez. Did I like miss this part here, or did I just like forget about it? I probably forgot about it. in my quest to go get iron but there's like so much talc down here I'm just gonna keep dropping the rocks making piles of rocks everywhere but yeah I, f I feel like you maybe if they made like bronze that you could mix copper and tin for maybe that could use like talcum powder or something like that I don't know if it, that would be based in reality probably not again I, I, I don't I'm not a game dev and I'm, I don't know that much about the whole uh, metalworking stuff because I mean I don't do that in real life I have an interest in that kind of stuff, but I don't do that in real life as like my job or a hobby, so. It's mostly me just kind of talking out of my ass. Like most streamers do. <laughs> I am no exception. Uh, 
but I feel like game game if in game gamify gaming wise having tin where you could just like melt it in the furnace, especially since tin I guess is really easy to work heat wise. It's like very soft compared to like iron and stuff like that. I guess. And, like, with copper, like, native copper, I think the people have historically been able to just, like, ha cold hammer that shit, so. I feel like copper and tin should not require a uh, flux. Which I would assume is what the talc is for, as they sort of flux to reduce the metal's uh, heat um, requirements for melting, melting point. Yeah, that's it. <clears throat> It's really fa it's a really fascinating kind of like concept like metal hot but if you mix stuff into it it makes the, the overall mixture easier to melt like metal because metal needs like a high temperature to melt because of just like its cell structure and all that crap you know <clears throat> all right well we've we've been just demolishing the talcum mines down here Talc, talcum in the middle. Uh, God damn it. Why? Do, why does? Why is my? Why am I like this? Well, it seems like that wall of talcum is gone. Now we just have this other wall of talcum. I seem to have found like the talcum jackpot over here. See, not all of this is talcum, though. I think the talcum is like kind of like a little silvery compared to the uh, tin. Okay, yeah, that's tin. Let's drop all the stones. You ain't got the stones. It's like, matter of fact, I I do have the stones. Yeah, this whole process of getting all this stuff tends to um, get you a fair bit of malign because chemistry is does that. Like like if you see like it's 908. If I craft one of these. My malign goes up because the act of doing chemistry is considered um, not friendly to the island because you're altering it for your own purposes. And at some point when this gets high enough, you start getting some scary spawns. So we are... Um... Yeah, these backpacks are fucking busted. I love how good backpacks are. They'll let you make do so much more. Well, we certainly have got talcum now. I think that's not, that's like the least of my concerns. Well, we got anything else up here, like any more talcum or limestone or something? I, oh, we've got another wall of talcum over here. Ooh, we, got, we do have some limestone too, which is good because I think limestone was kind of like one of the things that was kind of lacking a little bit. Okay, so like basically head straight north. I mean, we could use this to get back to our base really quickly because I, I did accidentally dig this up one point. So for now, we can use this to kind of get in and out of there really quick because we, we kind of want to. That is very much on our... Uh, a very... Um, ideal situation would be us just getting in and out of here as quickly as possible. That's limestone. I also need better chests, because these tin chests are tin, but they, at the very least they um, have more storage capacity than these wooden ones. Mm. 
And as you can see, this wooden chest is full now. I'm kind of just running out of space to put things. has just come to my my attention that to make uh, the the metal stuff you don't need an anvil nearby to make like the ingots you don't need the the anvil nearby but to um, make stuff you do so I might have to do some finagling around I'll have like another chest here for one for like the the like the wrought iron and one for all the other mixed other fixins. <laughs> for that I need more space, so let's uh yeah. That pile on the floor is uh, full. It's full of shit. Technically, probably didn't need this corner piece ripped open, but that's okay. Right, let's make another one of these uh, furnaces. I'm gonna cheese it a little bit by putting in our putting it in our backpack. As you do. Grand Anvil's pretty heavy. But we can put this down. I probably should make a better anvil at some point. Because I'm almost certain that would, uh, You know, impact. Um... <laughs> One might think a better it would be a bad idea would be to reverse that order in order due to the softness of tin. <clears throat> hmm. Let's eat some cucumbers. And that's why I like growing cucumbers is they 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 uh, get you water and food and I mean they're pretty lightweight too all things considered like 0.4 weight for wa water and food yeah it's um that's a pretty good um pretty good deal speaking of which we are we have we we finally got exceptional cucumbers so we're trying to spread some more cucumbers around with that and we're spreading some more cotton as well. This cucumber is ready to pick, so let's get some uh, another some more snacks. And that'll just kind of regrow more cucumbers later. If 
for now, this wooden chest here is gonna... into a problem currently where we have like too much too much iron to deal with and not enough stuff to use to deal with it with I'm glad they've made the uh, prop, the uh, the overweight um, stamina reduction a lot less severe. Cause it used to be like if you were overweight at all and you moved, it would like reduce your stamina to like fucking like nothing very quickly. It still reduces it pretty fast, but it's a lot more uh, forgiving than it used to be. by a, a, a fair bit. <laughs> Is there anything you left in the boat? No. Okay. Cool. So our next goal is going to be getting more, um... Is getting some more, what you call them, stuff in the things uh, oh I still have a torch lit I was like why is there just ash and the answer is I've just been walking around with my torch lit without a care in the world Essentially what we're going to be doing is building a bunch of these uh, torches in the ground. Like in this kind of zone here. For that we're going to have to dismantle all these planks, which is fine. The game's complaining about our shark tooth, but that's fine. We get, we get a lot of those from sharks. Anyway, so I'd use them to cut things. Well, I see you and your gangly ass. You wanna come here? Yeah, I thought so. Like it's, I've done this enough times where I just make a hotkey for this. That was four. Okay. 
Okay, and then we've got two branches here, but we can uh, dismantle and also use. Let's close that for now so we can move leaves to here. Move our twigs to here. I, I have this little bag here for keeping very light stuff and or fi mostly fire making stuff on me at all times. It's just convenient that way. All right. Okay, so now we're gonna start a fire. We're gonna equip this uh, this pole. And we're gonna ignite it. And we're gonna use that to start fires. Use that to start fires. It's a lot less um, strenuous on your like fire plow or whatever to do it this way. And these poles are so easy to get that yeah, we just don't even really care if like it gets broken. And then we just grab another. Ignite that one as well. Rented poles can't start too many fires, but by using these two poles, it probably saved like 16, 17 durability or so on our fire starting stuff that we use everywhere else. So I feel like it's probably worth it. And it's much more worth it's much more worth it than using like a torch, because those take things to actually make, which you know we don't want to, that to happen. Okay, we'll just do the we'll just do the rest with our fire starter stuff. I'm sitting here worrying about my fire plow, but if we look at my fire plow, it's got like a thousand durability. Cause I don't know, I just it's just uses like law. It's pretty heavy because it's made of like just logs, so it's got a lot of um. It's got a lot of durability based on that, and I've also like used some glue on it a few times too, so. While we're at it, we'll make four more too, because I don't really have a reason not to. Just like. All right, while we're doing, now that we're done with that, we can just kind of come back after we go mine some more shit. Uh, let's see. There's my pile of cordage. See, I can turn all this tree bark into string as well, but I'm just like, not really that concerned. Let's make sure we have purified water we can drink here. We can. And that mostly covers our hunger anyway. Okay, cool. And then when we go inside to sleep, we'll start a fire. We'll cook. We'll cook the uh, spider meat. We'll eat that and then we'll go to sleep. Just a, just a little bit of spider meat to, to keep you keep you going. All right, nine hours. We got anyone outside for us? I was expecting more uh, critters to come after us. Since we're above, uh, we're not minus malign right now. Eh, it's fine. Uh, oh, there's this. There's a spider. I have these two spiders chained up for um, my own purposes. Oh, well, good talk.
I don't really know what to do with all these feathers. I'm guessing make arrows or something, but... Eh. And as you see, we got all this glorious charcoal now. Each of those, each of those sticks I put down to burn turned into one charcoal piece. We're gonna turn on uh, auto pickup when moving. We should pick up all the charcoal. Ooh, that's an aberrant slime. Hello, you're gonna give me some goodies, aren't you? We're just gonna punch this guy. Oh, are you running from me, you fucker? Come back. Yeah, aberrant my ass. I was, just, I was just bashing it to death with my shield. God damn. Alright. Well, that's uh, some more uh, blue. Oh, look, it's a rat. Probably should equip something in that hand. Probably my, probably the axe. All right. Anyway, let's continue getting our. Uh, uh, really, I'm just I'm trying to mind my own business, and all the critters of the island are just trying to come and uh, pay me a visit. Nice thing about making charcoal like this is that charcoal is very light, very lightweight. Now I know I don't have to pick up the ashes, but I might as well because I'm sure I could use them for something. Alright, let's turn that uh, auto pick up when moving thing off because... Now we can make carbon powder out of all this charcoal. powder all there I think the final ingredient that I'm kind of missing from this situation is going to be uh, limestone and I know there's some limestone in the, the basement in the freaking uh, in, in the underground there drop all piles of ash Start a fire here so we can make some aminal glue. And then we can make slime glue as well. Let's cook the spiders. God damn, how many spider meats did I have? Fight the fire went out. So we'll start it again. Make this tainted cooked meat. Let's eat that first. Still no poison. Champion. I'm a champion at not getting poisoned by poisoned food, I guess. And then we'll just eat more spider meat, and then we'll turn the other into a pemmican. And we'll just hold on to that. Just building up a small surplus of emergency food that should I ever need it, but I probably won't, because I am very well prepared in general. Okay, let's we'll tallow, and let's drink some water. I'll drink from this side, because I don't I normally drink from the other side. And these sorcerers are so good that I can just like drink to excess if I really felt like it. 
because like it's just so easy to just do this and uh, do this and do this and then by the next time I come over here and need water like we'll just have more we already have more than enough but there'll be even more more than enough well let's pick this pineapple and that pineapple we'll just kind of hold those on there with us all right, let's see. Pickaxe, let's get you a slime glue. Since you are a very important tool. This, pe this pesto mortar has been putting in some work as well, so let's give it a nice uh, reinforcement with this animal glue. annoying well shit I think I also need to say a, a, a sin cast flask so I'll grab that and we'll just we'll go over here and repair my pickaxe then how's that <laughs> all right good as new now let's use our hammers to repair themselves basically At some point, I'll probably replace them with iron hammers, just because I have so much iron at this point. All right, flat sand cast flask goes away. Let's see. We've got a good amount of carbon powder now, but more would definitely look at how much wrought iron we have to do use. We have so much wrought iron we have to get through. And honestly, the limiting factor is probably going to be limestone, because it's a bit. I think it's a bit less common than the other two things. Sp Speaking of which, though, let's go ahead and find another tree, and we'll set up another uh, burning session while before we go back down down downstairs. I keep saying go downstairs. back to this little spot back here so we will uh, plant our grass seeds back here but do, digging up grass with a hoe and then like planting the seeds back in the dirt is a really effective way to, to gain uh, benign if you have no other really good ways to do so like in the very beginning of the game Blades of grass can be used as goat food, or they can be used as a uh, tinder for starting fires. So the grass is not just useless either. So you can get a lot. You can get a lot out of doing stuff like that. We're gonna clear out these little bits of grass here. I say as there's like endless amounts of grass on this one tile. Yeah, we'll just get rid of that. I just want to clear out a lot, a lot of space for just doing this more often. Oh, it's Mudkip. There's a Mudkip over there. Well, Mud. A mud skipper, but that's basically what mud kip is.
Alright, let's start dismantling just massive amounts of logs. Okay. We're down to two shark teeth, oh no. That's a good amount of uh, poles. Okay, then let's uh, about as close as this game has to like mass production of things um actually we'll, we'll pick this one up and use it as a um, uh, equip we'll use it as part of the uh fire lighting brigade there's a faster way to doing what I'm doing now than what I'm do how I'm doing it but you know some sometimes you just kind of have to deal with the circumstances okay so this one now has um, zero out of eight so we're gonna just build I think if we unequip it uh, well, now it's good zero idea. We'll, we'll build it and we'll just set this one up. Can I, can I not build with this? Oh, it's too damaged. Well, might as well use it to do another fire. Good note to self is, um,. It, if I want to do what I was thinking of doing, it needs one durability left. Because now, with one durability left, it can sit there and it'll just. Do the thing. All right, and then we'll just build this one too. All right, and then we can just leave those alone. Once again, just keep just dumping massive piles of tree bark on the on the beach. Oh, that pile of tree bark's actually full. One, four, and eight, <laughs> 90 tree bark could fit in one tile. I was wondering how 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 long it would take. So I'll tell you what, I've been piling stuff there for ages. Granted, I, I probably shouldn't have eaten that worm just because you can actually use it to fish and get a lot more food that way But I don't care because I've got Like, like these like these cucumbers alone by the time like I need more food They're probably all ripened where I can just pick cucumbers eat them and I have all these pineapples too. It's like It's like yeah, we're, we're, we're set on food for like ever 
is this? Fishing net and gravel? Okay. Drop you. I've got some spider silk I can drop as well. Drop that. Oh, there's a Blorbo. Well, looks like we're getting some glue today. I'm gonna punch this fish. It's an aberrant red snapper. What? That's that's funny. Why why are you an aberrant? <laughs> We're just fighting this fish. That's apparently very strong fish. Alright, well, I didn't know that was an aberrant. I guess I, I don't know what that really means for me. I guess dinner, because we can just make I get some fish pieces and some bones and all that fun stuff, I guess. Well, we can make the slime glue and we can make some tasty fish to take down with us, I guess. Slime glue, which we'll use on. Um, I kind of want to just keep throwing slime uh, glue on my pickaxe here because it's so important to have a good pickaxe. Hmm. Yeah, we'll do it. I guess there's another like possible giant chunk of durability there, and I'll cook these uh, f cook chopped fit make some cooked chopped fish. <clears throat> Excuse me. I say as I've got cucumbers, I still need to eat. <laughs> Let's eat this like superior cucumber. Look how good those damn things are, like. This fish is gonna go to waste in my bag, but I'll put it in my bag anyway, and I'll try to prioritize prioritize it, I suppose. Sigh. I don't know what to really how to really deal with that. But yeah, we're about to head back down underground to get some uh, probably limestone at this point. So we have lots of talc. hate that. I hate just like randomly running into little piles of rocks and I think up here is where all the limestone was. At least the limestone I can find. Crunching up limestone is massive for uh, weight. Like it reduces it by like half. Well, maybe not half, but it reduces it by enough to definitely be worth bringing a pestle and mortar. Wrong 
backpack, loser. <laughs> All right. More limestone. Here we go. Oh, hello. Oh. Why is my shield not equipped? For starters. Well, I guess I need to use the torch anyway. Well, alright, cool. Thanks. Thanks for that, I guess. Let's drop all these damn rocks. I don't even know what I can use ectoplasm for. I can't eat it. Otherwise, I probably would. I'd be like, mmm. Ghost. <laughs> ghost juice. I was gonna say something else, but I refrained from doing so out of uh, self preservation. Um. Alright, let's dump all this limestone powder to our bag. I'll take a little bit of damage for the sake of uh, just getting this taken care of. I mean, the pyro ghosts can definitely do damage to you, but you have to like willfully or accidentally uh, handicap yourself <laughs> at this point for them to even really be able to do much. Because without a, because uh, having a offhand equipped significantly increases your defense, and especially if it's a shield, so. Like, my defense goes from, uh, 23 to, like, 15, to 15, which is pretty, pretty big. But hell, even just having something in, so, having something in your hand is better than having nothing. So you can kind of just use that to kind of defend yourself with. Uh, is there any more limestone anywhere? Because honestly, that is going to be my limiting factor to doing all this metalworking stuff is just limestone. Probably like 90% sure I've been up through here before. Oh, there's a rat down here. Interesting. Well, that's all gone. We might have exhausted all the limestone that exists in this kind of like cave system. Not talc, there's lots of talc left. So we might have to actually um, get limestone from somewhere else. Granted, we got the iron from somewhere else, so it's not like the end of the world to have to death for limestone as well, but it's not great. Then again, we could just wander the island and try to find more uh, caves. Make like a little miniature base near these places. It's probably the best I probably the best idea I've had like all day. All right, we're moving really slowly because. <laughs> Yeah. Why do I just have like talc in here? 
without it being what the fuck is wrong with me crush the talc you f you fuck oh i need to probably rest i just First off, let's eat one of our, our, um, some fish here, so that it doesn't go to waste, and then we'll drink some water as well. Which that would give us probably enough uh, stamina to kind of do it where I want to do anyway. At least for now. When we don't have stamina, we'll probably just go to sleep anyway. Yeah, making iron takes a lot of resources. But our skill in blacksmithing is getting much better. Tongs, no, not the tongs. No, not into the pit. It burns. <laughs> ah, that is the downside of moving my anvil like I did, is now I can't like repair stuff mid iron ingot making session yeah that's unfortunate oh we can put these iron uh, ingots away that I have made Well, there goes the re there goes the rest of our stamina. Surely there's somewhere nearby I can drop all this stuff. Slowly but surely just killing myself by doing stuff when I'm exhausted, so. And then, instead, we're gonna go sleep. So I don't do that. <laughs> I was gonna drink some more coffee because it's been kind of just sitting here getting cold. We can eat more of this fish. Oh! <laughs> Bye! Fucking spider just like... Jumps full... Just jumps right in front of me. Oh, spider eggs. Uh, let's just kind of leave those there. Mm, yeah. Sp spider eggs. Well, we do have some cucumbers we sh can eat, although I should probably eat these pineapples first. And we'll still just drink water anyway, because we have we just have infinite water. Why wouldn't we? Why? After all, why shouldn't I? Yep, 
The other, the other problem with uh, limestone being as uncommon as it is is that you use limestone in glass production for um, making like bottles, which bottles, glass bottles are super useful. I think they're the lightest uh, weight bottle, which has its has is a very nice advantage to have. All right, let's light this fire and all this so I could just fix these fucking tongs. Now we got a 90.7% chance to uh, make these ingots. All right, what 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 went wrong? What went wrong? Where's where, where's my missing the missing link here? It's probably you. I mean, it's not the end of the world these tongs break, because, like, I did just kind of, like, make them out of, like, just scrap refuse tin that I had laying around from monsters. Sometimes when you kill enemies, they drop stuff, and I got, I've been getting a few uh, tin things from it. Did I run out of stuff to make ingots with? I ran out of carbon, but that's okay, because I actually have more of that um, that I made before I went going and mining, <laughs> so. Yeah, I'll put that in there too, I guess. See, they made copper also, copper also takes talcum powder, which I disagree with that being a good idea, because to make it where copper is like the introductory, like kind of like gateway drug of metals compared to like iron, which, well, with how it currently stands, copper and tin need talcum powder to make stuff with, but iron does too. Iron needs talcum powder, limestone, and carbon, which you'd think make, would make it like, like, oh, should I just make copper? Said no, because copper sucks. <laughs> but in its suckitude, if copper didn't require you to have need talcum or limestone or that kind of stuff, it would have a niche. It would be like, oh, this is like baby's first metal that you can like do when you're just starting out. To kind of get like a, a jump, a springboard into better, better gear. 
But as it currently stands, there's almost no point in doing anything with copper because, well, stuff that you use to make cop with copper, you're not going to be able to use to make iron with. So you're kind of wasting your time a little bit. I didn't want you to be tamed, but you know what? Sure, whatever. Yeah, you can tame almost anything in this game, given you have its thing that it wants to eat. And apparently that rat wanted to eat some uh, apple seeds. Good, good on you, bud. Good talk. Oh, hello, it's a coyote. I was wondering if I'd see one of these. Oh, the freaking rats helped me fight the coyote. Well, did we, just, did we just become best friends, little rat? I think we did. I could get the rat to fight the spider. Oh, they're, they're going at it! Get him! Yeah! <laughs> go, 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 go! <laughs> fight for my amusement. <laughs> Man, you can use tamed critters to fight for you too, or at least, like, kind of defend you, I guess. Would you like some spider meat as a reward? We have appeased, we have appeased the giant rat. <laughs> who is now our little, who is currently our friend. It won't last forever, but they eat seeds, so it kind of technically could because we have so many seeds. Oh, I need to turn that off. Cause I don't, I don't need to be picking up just piece, just pieces of like sand on the ground. Another good side effect of making carbon that way is you get so much ash from it too that you can use for whatever you use ash for. Uh, apparently, that is a uh, ash cement. I am morbidly curious now. That's so much ashes, what the hell? It's like 70 something piles of ashes. You can have those background. Also, why is there a goat on my wa solar still? Get off there, that's not where you go. I mean, I'm not trying to like, fight it, but it's kind of getting in the way. Silk, and we can cook up this cooked meat. So this cooked meat is actual cooked is actual like meat meat, I guess. I could say. Like it's not poisoned or fucked up or anything like that. It's it's like honest to goodness just coyote steak, <laughs> I guess. Uh, let's continue just emptying our inventory. Which I'll just kind of put that in my bag of garbage I need to eat, but I'm gonna just probably forget to do, and then they'll just spoil on my backpack. We are po at this point with our. F oh, yeah, we locked the rat out. 
It's all right. No rats allowed. This is a no rat zone. Got a bunch of carbon powder now, so we can, uh... Drop all that there, and... Figure out what we need now to make more iron. Because that's kind of like just what I've been doing, is trying to make as many of these uh, ingots as possible. Let's see, we got, we got carbon, we got talcum, limestone is, as I was suspecting, the limiting factor. We've got a lot of malign right now. Um, <laughs> I was, was like, oh, there's an enemy. Right now, this rat is not an enemy. <laughs> oh, we also have this, our just our bag full of garbage right now to deal with. Can I just empty more of this out? Okay, well. So one of the things I'm wanting to do is get our, our blacksmithing up high enough where we can reliably use this iron to make chests because from my understanding, iron is the best m material in the game. So the chests you make from it are the best in the game. So having... I think, because iron chests, I think, have like 120 or 125 uh, capacity. So I, I, I believe that would be the best course of action. Let's take a look. Wait, does bronze exist? Hold on a sec. I didn't know bronze actually was in this game. Oh, well, fuck me. It looks like bronze is uh, better than iron. Look at me talking out my ass, saying, oh, iron's the best. I mean, technically, iron chests have 150 dirt, uh, capacity compared to 100, like the tin ones, so. Yeah, that's gonna be real good getting those anyway, but, um. When did bronze come into being? Like, how new is bronze? Because I was almost certain that bronze is not a thing that's existed before. It's new to me, at least. Well, that makes the um, the tin that's on this island a lot more um, useful. I just gotta figure out where copper lives. Well, that's what you get. That's what I get for not looking at the wiki.
Hmm. That makes me think that maybe the uh, desert islands or whatever are where I would have to go to get copper. So that's probably where we're gonna something might we might do now. <laughs> So to, so to prepare for that, let's get. We need some sheets of glass, so we can make some more solar stills. Which means I need limestone. So we might need to go find another uh, cavern area besides this one. Excuse me, snake. <laughs> so it'll probably be in my best interest to actually load up on foods like cucumbers, stuff that keep me hydrated. Or I could, you know, actually bring bottles of water. Although I think I left most of my bottles back at the other, uh... Yeah, I left most of my bottles back at the other, um new base I made on the uh, swamp island that I went to okay let's well we're gonna refill um, this still and we're gonna just take some water from there too and we've got some pineapples on our person and we can we might be able to pick some um, some cucumbers Oh yeah, we can pick. We can definitely pick some cucumbers. Ooh, another purple cucumber. Now it's tempting for me to actually dismantle this purple one because it might give me a purple seed, which it did. Which means we're planting that immediately. Oh well. I guess goats eat tree bark, so we got a goat on our little entourage now, too. Oh, whatever. Oh. Not, that was not planned. But yeah, we're gonna plant these other uh, cucumber seeds. Cause I have a, cause the more we, more purple cucumbers we get, the more likely we're gonna, you know, get more, you know, cucumbers that are purple. Which, higher, qual higher quality tiers can give you like as if you if you look there it says like next to where it says eat there's like plus one that zero to two can mean eating one cucumber that is of the uh, remarkable tier can give you up to five health back and like eating one of this tier can give you up to like seven hunger back and seven up to seven hunger up to seven thirst like this higher tier vegetable foods are so overpowered and once we get more of these purple ones we'll just be just snacking on purple cucumbers which normally sounds disgusting like purple cucumbers no please I, mean, I was originally gonna try to take some of these. I could take these stills, but I would. I don't want to do that more than what I already have. Yeah, I'm not really that attached to these critters that are following me. I mean, they're cute and great, but like, I didn't really intentionally tame either of them. Oh yeah, we already also got all this food shit we planted down here just in case something went wrong. Which it hasn't really yet. You're not part of the team. I, I think to tame slimes you have to have slime. <coughs> Excuse me. So we find another slime we might be able to tame it and like bring it home and lash it to our to a thingy and then um I think slimes make slime. <clears throat> oh, 
Oh, there's Drafty on the, on the Reddit giving them. That oh, doesn't appear, at least right now, as of the time of that um, thingamajig, that um, post that slimes give you anything as they're tamed. That's unfortunate. Um, yeah, I'm, on, I'm trying to be on the lookout for ways to go underground, so let me uh, zoom out a little bit. We got some switch grass. What about bottom grass? really have a reason not to just plant more of this probably should have done that like ages ago there's some talc now I will also happily accept a uh, surface deposits of a uh, limestone as well like I'm not gonna be like oh I can't go underground I'm game over I don't care because I will a hundred percent happily mine surface limestone as well yeah, no, knowing that um bronze actually is in this game and needs you need like you have to you have talcum to not only melt tin and copper but you also have to have the, the stuff you used to make uh iron to make the bronze so this talc is gonna come in handy I guess in the future if we want to make stuff out of bronze which kind of changes my whole um, plan because I was like oh I'll, I'll do iron and iron will be the best thing ever and apparently it's not the best thing ever anymore which is fine I'll still go forward with my plan of getting as high of um, blacksmithing as possible so I can make some really good uh, storage out of the iron I have so that I can use that storage to make more things. Oh, spider. Uh, would you like... I was gonna... I could offer it a cucumber. Would you like uh, spider meat? Uh, no. I, I can't just, like, convince it to... This is my taming skill is high enough. I can just kind of convince it to, like, join me anyway. Where'd the rat go? Did the rat leave? Oh no! It's it's still it's still among it's dismayed. You pet a giant rat. Well, would you, would you like the spider meat? You would, and you left me some poo. Thank you. That's very kind of you. Yeah, we just got a little entourage going on now. Uh, is there any more? Ooh, there is an underground spot down there. Let's go see what we got. Alright, well, we are in need of some of hunger, so let's eat this steak here. For the sake of weight, I think I am gonna eat this pineapple. Nah, actually no. We'll eat this kind of lesser cucumber. Sounds like a freaking like D and D enemy. Lesser cucumber. Uh, probably homebrew because normal D and D sucks dog shit, as you've probably seen on social media of them what they're trying to just do to people. Uh, was there is there anything down here? No. Oh well, that's a bit of a waste. Oh, there's a ghost. Well, nope. <laughs> No, thank you. Alright, friends. <laughs> Me and my little animal buddies. This is like fucking Donkey Kong Country 2. Uh, we're just kind of roaming around trying to find uh, entrances to the underworld. Because I would like... Access to more stuff like limestone. I don't know if they like decrease the size of islands or not, like the game island that you start on or islands in general. I don't know if they did that because you can kind of explore to other ones 
I just don't really know. Oh, all right. So we're just gonna try to like explore the entirety of this one, see if we can find some more uh, limestone. Oh hey, you made it. Did the other ones like get untamed or something? No idea. I mean, I guess a good thing about goats, if you do have them tamed as like bodyguards, is you can literally feed them grass and they'll be happy. Like if I, if I go to our little goat friend here and give them a uh, plate of grass, they'll be perfectly appeased for like a while. Uh, let's just sleep on the beach, I don't care. We'll sleep on the ground and... You're currently not our friend, but um, you're about to be. Oh, we failed the tame. Let's try again. All right, well, now let's go, let's go back to sleep. Now that we're all friends again, is this a different giant rat? Yeah, it's a different one. Let's tame you too. <laughs> all right, let's go back to sleep. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Uh, probably can't tame you. Unless I can. Can I tame a zombie? Leave the goat alone. You fucker. Well, I guess we can sit here and do this. As it just murders all of my tames. I bet you'd like some meat though, wouldn't you? Well, apparently the zombie is bleeding out, even though it says it's uninjured. Make up your mind. Would you like some meat? You, we, <laughs> you can tame the zombie. I mean, I know I literally said you can tame anything, but like, I, yeah. Apparently that includes the. We just have a zombie now. The cranberries will be so disappointed in me. It's kind of like just meandering around because, I mean, it's a zombie. What else is it going to do? Well, we can start a beach fire and, uh... And just, like, and just, like, trail off on that note. It's like, we can start a beach fire. Well, I guess we'll just plant these uh, pineapple seeds just around because I don't really have any reason not to just plant them elsewhere. If we ever have to come around this area again, there'll possibly be just pineapples growing here for food. Well, I guess we have this zombie. It only took like all of our other critters to die for us to like realize, oh wait, this thing just wants meat. That's all it cares about is just bloody meat. Mmm. All right, well, let's drink this water. I ate a bunch of food that, uh... some uh, slime blue of hoarding, huh? Well, that's neat. Does it, does that repair more than other things do? Well, not repair, but does it like give more uh, durability? Hmm.
Let's actually reinforce this hammer with this glue. With all this glue that I have. Alright, zombie, let's let's go explore, I guess. <laughs> oh, we got a coyote. I wonder if I can tame you. I think I'd prefer having a coyote as a friend. Yeah, <laughs> we got a coyote. <laughs> Zip, it's zip, got the zoomies. Well, the zombie's bleeding out, I guess. I don't know how long it's gonna bleed out for. That might explain why it's kind of moving slow, is maybe it's bleeding out. Oh wow, that didn't take long for it to come untamed. Well, let's grab this groundwater. No reason not to. Uh, got uh, that's a little butthole. <laughs> that's a great coyote spray. It's got a little, it's got a little butthole. <laughs> oh, we'll just leave the zombie alone. It'll probably despawn or something. Go around. I don't feel like dealing with any trees or anything like that. They say is I uh, probably gonna have to cut a tree down to get into this area. Ah, woo! Oh, it turns out there was some cotton on this island after all. Well, neat. Ah, we did, there is some limestone over here. All right, just drop that crap. And we'll keep mining. Drop all the rocks. Drop the rocks. Georgia, drop the rocks. Sure. Check the discords. There we go. Sweet. Move more of you to the backpack. Okay, and we'll grind up the limestone. Move to backpack. Well, it appears there is a fair bit more limestone to be had here. Uh, two health, five stamina, two hunger for roots. I mean, that's not bad. Plant roots can be a little tricky to get in a large amounts, but otherwise they're pretty decent. Start a fire, cook that, purify this water.
At this point, I don't know if I even care for... We're going to equip this animal peltar back to give us one more defense, and we just don't have anything in that slot, so... Yeah, I... Oh. Whoopsie. I just dropped all those in the fire. Didn't actually mean to do that. I'm <laughs> just a fool. Just a grade A fool. You know what? Just, just get rid of some other stuff, too. I don't need animal fat either. Or that. Really. Well, there's quite a bit of, uh... Okay, 93. Got another strength boost. Which I think that makes us do more damage as well. I'm just waiting for that zombie to come around all this way to, to kill us. If it's not already dead from bleeding out or the sun or whatever. I think it'd be in our best interest to use, um... Some of this limestone to make another set of, uh... Oh, that bag's full. <laughs> well, good thing we mined all that and have just enough space left to, like... Ooh, cucumbers. Mmm. There's a lot of cucumbers here. Oh, I, there's just like a little spot. Oh, well. Cucumbers, not like, don't do, don't do it to this to me. Not like this. <laughs> Would you like a snack, a little friend? We have a... We have, we have appeased our little coyote friend with some more tainted meat. Yeah, we're, we're good on food for now. All right, we came this way. Starting a little journey with a little coyote friend. <laughs> it's a bit of a bit of a fucking trek just to get some damn limestone, but heart wants what it wants. Oh yeah, there's a, there's a spider that we had tamed previously. Oh, there's another coyote, huh? I don't think I I don't think I have any other meat for this one, so if it's gonna bother us, it's gonna bother us. <laughs> Double buttholes. Okay, you're the one. Let's see if I can just tame you. Ow, asshole. No, 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 t no tame. Fuck you. <laughs> make me, make me bleed my own blood. That, that might be the first time I've actually had bleeding damage so far. Well, that's why I have these. That's literally why I have these sutures. They heal me and they get rid of the bleeding. So even better. All right, cool. I 
Well, now I'm carrying too much weight. Well, I guess I can equip this on my back. You want some, you want some, uh, some brains? Mmm, brains. <laughs> Delicious brains. Hmm. I need to shed a little bit of weight somewhere. I want to hold on to this meat, though. Because, I mean, it's meat. You eat meat. Can I put it in here? I can, and I'm still just a little too heavy. Guess we're gonna store some of this li this limestone powder in this bag. That being said, our strength is our, our uh, carry capacity is now 105, which is about 35 or so higher, I think, than base. <laughs> so we've gotten a a fair bit of um, extra carry weight by just leveling up. I see a path I can take. If this fucking snake would get out of the way. Thank you. I mean, it's not that far away. I just kind of went a weird way to get down to it. Don't scamper on the plant, you little asshole. Stop it. S stop causing problems on purpose. <laughs> like, but I love causing problems on purpose. Speaking of problems on purpose. Little shit ass. <laughs> Alright, we're probably just gonna have to fight this coyote because I don't really know. I mean, I would love to keep it, but it, it needs meat to tame, and I don't really know if... I mean, it does good damage, but I would have to tame it every time I wanted to use it. Which is kind of annoying to have to use meat for that, so. Unfortunately. Why is it not dying? How much HP do you have? Traitor, kill your. Oh, I didn't know that was a milestone! All right, well, there we go. I got a milestone. <laughs> Kill your own tamed creature. Well, sometimes you unfortunately gotta do that in the wild, wild west. All right, well, let's uh, process all of the garbage I've been dealing with. Got some clean water. Let's drink that. Then we can use this bottle to mix animal glue. We can also cook these uh, steaks too while we're at it. Nice and delicious. Have them last. They'll last for a little bit at least. And as far as this glue goes, let's. Let's actually use this animal claw from probably the coyote I just killed to make another suture since I used one up when that one coyote attacked me and made me bleed my own blood. <laughs> uh, I guess the question is, do I just keep throwing glue onto this hammer? And the answer is probably yes. Because this one hammer here would be a lot lighter than these two. That being said, I would I will still keep these hammers probably in this little pile here. Yeah, this one hammer would be a, a fair bit lighter. Because metal tools would be ideal because there should be a little bit lighter than the stone ones. 
a bit of higher uh, upkeep costs or whatever, but what's even in this chest anymore? Just more wrought iron? Okay, well. Oh, that's right. I need a hammer to repair my hammer. Well, let's go grab let's go grab one of these hammers. Oh, a trapdoor spider. Where the hell did you come from? Did you come from down here? I mean, you might have. Uh, well, I don't think there there there's still some more. Yeah, there's still some more stuff. We'll we'll close it up for now. But where did you come from, little spider friend? Little delicious spider friend. Mmm. Tasty friend. Boy, let's start just dumping this limestone powder on the ground. Never mind. Let's not. It's even on the floor here, just a lot of stuff. Well, I guess for our own purposes right now, it doesn't really, it's not really that big of a deal to have these on the floor somewhere else, because we want to make at least some more uh, solar stills for when we go adventuring to other places, because, yeah. Having those available so that we can just have more water is never a bad thing, because four of them is more than enough to kind of have a stable water situation when you're kind of just going other places. It'd probably be especially nice if we go to like a desert island or whatever. Which I have a feeling we're probably gonna have to find one of those. Alright. So I think I think we're gonna make sheets of glass. Which is refined sand and limestone powder. Okay, we'll grab those and go back inside. We we'll also need tongs, so let's just kind of grab. Uh, let's repair these. So let us grab. Iron tongs. We'll just use these. Come on, crap the damn thing. There we go. Alright. Sweet. So let's load these in our boat. Very lightweight, so it's kind of nice. How little? How I can do that? Okay. So we got those. I probably should make a kiln for the place, but we probably just dig up some rocks 
when we get there, then it'd be fine anyway. Alright, let's fix this, this iron hammer. Oh. I don't know if it's because I repaired with this iron hammer. With the stone one, because it's... Yeah, it's not very good at repairing. I mean, it's good enough, but it's, like, not very good at all otherwise. Okay, let's... Spread another purple one too. Excellent. And then we got some harvest ones we can harvest. Uh, let's plant some more cotton seeds. I'm really not sure why I would need the cotton, but we, we definitely got it. <laughs> Kept going. I make mean, it easy to make fabric without having to go through the whole like eight. Um, pieces of like uh, like eight separate pieces of like of like cordage uh, okay I was confused why we can't make the fabric it's cause these are the actual like buds off the plant that you have to like dismantle. Wait, those give you seeds? Oh, they do. Okay, so we'll get even more seeds out of this than I was expecting. Because you get seeds from the actual deconstruction part, too. Okay. Well, all right. I should also make some more glass bottles, which needs one limestone powder a piece, two fine sand, and corks. Corks are easy. They're like all this bark we have here. We can use those to make corks. Okay, yeah, I wanted to, I wanted to make like eight bottles, but I also wanted to me use make them with at least green quality corks because I think that might influence the um, quality of the bottle itself. It probably does. Okay, so two refined sands. Okay, that's one bottle. All right, that leaves us with, uh... no, if we're really trying to like stretch out our, um, Trying to like min max stuff here. You just kind of group up all the ones with the highest durability, and that should make the one the bottles the highest durability. 
In theory. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, let, let, let's go make some bottles. Let's, d let's dump off the, uh, the bad corks, though. I don't really need them. And if we're, I was gonna say, if we're lucky, we can get a shark to come visit us. They're like, that doesn't sound lucky at all. It's lucky because I can just kill the sharks and eat and eat them. <laughs> so, I think that's how I basically survived on um, the the swamp island. Is I just killed the sharks and used their meat as food. <laughs> All right, anyway. I think the blowpipes were in here. Alright, well, let's, uh, let's get to crafting, huh? Let's make sure that the remarkable quality corks are first. Okay, and that bottle's got 104 durability. That one's got 67. Like these are also these are just very good bottles compared to what I've made in the past. Nah, that, that blowpipe wasn't long for this world anyway. No, that one's got 91. Let's use up some of these lesser ones, like just durability wise. I mean, we're not going to be making that much more glass anyway, but... Alright, that's eight glass bottles. That one's got a lot of durability, that one's got less so... They're all very nice, uh... Nice um, quality of life having more of those. We are going to um, something else. I should probably make. I think it's like a, let's do durability. Oh, I didn't know. I made actually made some superior ones. Okay, eighty two. God damn. All right. Um, yeah, I want to make something called uh, refinement tools here. Hammer tongs, fire source. Because these let us, um, rasping, scraping out material from items, reduce their weight, costing their durability. So we could do that with this. And it lowers its durability by a lot, but also lowers the, um, the weight. Problem being, now we're gonna probably have to use glue or something to um, get those back up to durability. So I probably won't do that for any of my other ones because that seems like a, a bad idea. I didn't think it was gonna be that drastic when it came to um, See, two point six, two point 
2.5. Okay, yeah, it's not worth doing that anymore. I suspect the uh, proper sequences, you get its durability really low with these refinement tools, and then you use glue on it to get it back up to higher durability. I don't currently have any glue, so I probably should hold off on doing that for now. But it was a fun experiment, to say the least. Now, if I could reduce the weight of this axe, that'd be great. Let's repair it. It's 432 durability. Let's refine it with scrapey scrape. 5.2, okay. Uh, Five point, yeah. There's, I think there's only so much you can really do with, with, um, yeah. It's probably only so much you can really scrape off of a stone axe before it's not really a stone axe anymore. Thankfully, these little tools are very light, so we can probably just keep them with us in general. Alrighty. So now we've got bottles for days. So we have any food that we need to eat first? Probably you. You can refine the food too. All right, well, that's interesting, but not probably very useful. Now this might, it might be useful for stuff like these, like pestle and mortars, but or anything else that's kind of hefty in our inventory. Does Tinkery have any effect on this? Quality success rate of crafting and using miscellaneous resources and methods. Increased chance of successfully repairing, reinforcing, and refining miscellaneous items. Adds ability to detect crafting efficacy with increasing accuracy when crafting items. Okay. Sure. <laughs> that didn't really help me much. Admittedly. But that's okay. Just add more add more bones to the bone pile. Okay, so we had some, we got some more some more of the, the we have four solar stills in there. We've got like eight bottles, four of them for the solar stills and four of them for general use on the island. Like especially I'm going further afield to do stuff. Let's gather liquid from each of these because I don't know how um is there not anything in there Did I, I think I forgot to fill one of these up it, it seems like oh well, don't let's not do that again Yeah, the seven durability glass bottle is probably going to be one of the ones that stays on a still. Because <laughs> I don't know if their durability gets used up when they collect water like that. Yeah, I don't think that the durability gets used up when it's used as a vessel as part of this. Because otherwise this would have had a lot less durability... Uh, on its person, so we're gonna put that back on there. Get some more clean water because we're gonna be traveling. And I'll give us an excuse to use up some of this food too. Um,
Ooh, you drive a hard bargain, cucumber plant. Main question is, do I disassemble you for the seeds and take the seeds with me? The answer is probably yes. Yeah, we'll do it. Okay, yeah, that was worth it because now we've got uh, some cucumber seeds we can plant there. That would be very nice once they grow. Especially we're going to be st spending extended time on this whatever island we go to. I think it's probably going to be a uh, desert one if we can find it. Because we, we live on a coastal one. We've, already, we've been to a swamp one, so a desert and snow are the ones we haven't been to quite yet. Alright, uh, well. Put this cucumber with the rest of them. No, 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 let's go on a little swim. There's a shark, we can, uh... Fight the shark in a boat. <laughs> Get another shark tooth for cutting purposes. And let's exit the map. All right. What is we? What do we have here? Can I? Can I go there? Let's try it. Untouched Isle. It's a coastal island. We don't really want to be here. I mean, we. It's probably fine if we are, but there's not really anything for us. <clears throat> to necessarily gain from being here. Okay, let's eat some food and we'll drink some of this water. This is why I brought the water. That's coastal. Our home is our home is the Isle of Isles of Calm Breezes. Let's see what this one is, because it's kind of clo relatively close. Wild Shores is an ice cap. Fortune Glacier is also an ice cap. Let's see. Let's go here. It might be wiser for us to go get more water first. Because if we get, if we just like land there, we might be, put ourselves in a bad situation. But we're gonna do it anyway. K of the Lost. Oh, yep. Yeah. This is it. This is a almost certainly a desert. Arid, yeah, that's the one. Well, let's uh start by eating some of these cucumbers, probably some of these lesser ones first. All right, well, let's uh Yeah, it's going to be even more important than than anything to get these uh, solar still set up as soon as possible in this arid place because yeah because I'm wearing scale stuff and I figured that would be enough to keep me nice and uh, cool in the arid place but maybe it doesn't work that way Alright. Ooh, a coconut tree. Alright, well, 
That's where we're gonna be right food food source once we uh what the hell's Tanglehead? I'm guessing it's like desert grass. Well let's go ahead and can you use desert sand for refining sand? No idea. What is this? A Joshua tree. <laughs> oh boy, a scorpion. I love that. Well, let's uh, prepare to fight that because it's probably going to come after us anyway. Where are you gonna go, huh? What do you give? It's the whole scorpion? A dispatch scorpion ready to be skewered and cooked for the brave and different eater. <laughs> Sweet. Alright, well. Looks like there's like some sort of like well in here. There's a lot of like actual nutrition in the desert areas it looks like like all these coconut trees in the olden days when there was only one island instead of multiple um yeah coconut uh, uh, you'd find coconut trees on like the coasts and i would just like pick coconuts like eat one plant one and just run around and plant like a million coconut trees aloe vera medicinal and antiseptic properties probably a good source of food and prickly pears definitely so we're gonna likely take this and plant them closer to our uh, landfall especially since uh, dirt is a little uh, scarce from what I can tell I mean we might be able to find some underneath sand I mean, I just dig a little bit okay first things first though let's get our stills out that we brought with us we're gonna build them here Oh yeah, that's right, my, sh my shovel kind of sucks now because I uh, scraped off a lot of the weight from it. Well, kind of have to dig anyway. Yeah, I'm doing this essentially to um, make it really easy for us to do what we need to do. Alright, that's the really crappy bottle. Let's attach that. We're going to attach the, the lower durability ones. 55... 46, 52, 50, 41, 6, okay, 41's the next lowest, uh, attach you, and then 46, and I think 50 is probably the lowest after that, yeah. Alright, so now we can go ahead and just... Keep the water train going. All right, and before you know it, we'll have a nice little bit of um, water desalinated there. And this stuff is, uh, well, sandstone, but there's like a little well here. Of uh, shallow fresh water that we will hold on to in case of an emergency, but otherwise, yeah. I do kind of want to find some sandstone though, so we might just like dig 
No, I, our shovel's not very good, so we can't really do that. I was gonna say we might just dig around until we find a, a, a place to go underground and get as much sandstone as we want, but... Ooh, what do we have here? Oh! So, oh, it's a clay fireplace. And a kiln too? Wow, this is actually great. Lockpick this. Lock, oh, lock, locksmith. Lockpick ten locks. Sweet. So you got some, got some pants. Got a tin bullet, and you got a corded sling. Great. You can have this wall. Well, we might. We might funny enough just disassemble this entire house and bring it with us. Although there's a little oasis here. That's kind of cool. This is just a kind of cool little set piece. Got like a nice little house with some fresh water here. Oh, that's gravel. I was like, is that like dirt for growing stuff on? That'd be amazing. Ooh, we, we do have some cocoa nuts. Oh, you have to till the desert sand, okay. Let's see, is this also ripening? Ooh, all right. Ooh, these are all like ripe as hell too. We're, we might just plant a bunch of all these, we're just gonna plant all these coconuts. That's gravel. Quickly appears can grow on gravel, it appears. Alright, we're gonna just start a fire and cook the, these giblets and meat before they go bad. While well, still a bit nauseating and consumed, the cooked scorpion can provide much needed sustenance. I'm sure it can. Uh, yeah, we're gonna cook the giblets and... Oh, the fire's gone. Well, the spider meat we can use to catch fish anyway. Sharp sandstone. Hmm, fair enough. Well, let's see. Let's eat the giblets first, because they're going to go bad very quickly. Uh, how about we eat the scorpion, too? Two health, nine stamina, two hunger. Okay, could be worse. Uh, okay. Well, our little landing point is down there, so if we really, if we're feeling really froggy, we can start dragging all like the little pieces of this house very slowly down there. Oh well, these coconuts weigh a little bit, so I was wondering, I was like wondering like why we're so weighed down, and part of it is because well. It might be good to have our, our little house, like, right here. What are tangle heads used for? Tufts of tangle head grass. Prickly and clean to touch. They seem to stick and tangle to each other as you hold them. Tinder! Okay. Gravel. Oh, yeah, we found a worm. I'm trying to watch the durability of this shovel because it's much, much lower. 
than he usually is. Alright, we got all the... We can dismantle all this gravel to get a refined sand, at least. So it's not completely useless. Alright, let's drop all these little stones. Alright. I guess down here we'll just grow the tangle heads or whatever. Shale, which you can use for a sharpened item. Not very good, but better than nothing, I guess. I'll just kind of leave them on the floor, I suppose. back down there. Yeah, any any coconuts I find I don't need to eat, I'll be planting so that we can just get more coconut trees. Looks like a cocoa nut. <laughs> For now, we're gonna just put these uh, rocks in a pile over here. And that sand as well. And those can go in the, the tinder pile. This is a pile for stones. No, that's uh, prickly pear seeds. Which I guess we'll just kind of... I'm guessing in this area I probably want to have the... Uh... Are these medicinal items? They are. Okay, so yeah, we're going to be growing aloe vera for... Uh... Medical... which we can just kind of store away, I guess. Same with you and you. And we don't, we don't have a uh, bed because I'm a fool. What the hell is that? Is that a lizard? Oh, it's a bat. <laughs> well, it was a bat until I carved it and cut it in half. All right, well, we're gonna start a beach fire because of course I am. Uh, let's take a drink of our desalinated water we have here. Start a beach fire. Cook you. Put you away. Let's, let's go fishing a little bit. Until this bait is gone, at least. Well, we traded a... Um, we traded a, a raw red snapper... Well, we're trying to get a worm for a raw red snapper. 
You can get a stimulus to that for, uh... Big fish bait, and we caught, caught another one. Well, at the very least, turn that one fish into another fish. <laughs> Catching a lot of seaweed. Did I? No, I, I don't know what's going on there. Oh, it made ash is what it's going on. Come on, I need. Oh, our, our fishing pole is breaking. Oh, we got the fish back, I guess. We'll hold on to that for a minute in case we want to fish later. Oh, not that. I need to actually repair the thing. Let's see. 115, if we repair with this hammer. Ah, could be worse. All right, well, that, while that was exhilarating and just fishing for a while, we're gonna just like sleep next to this like open flame. We don't have a bed yet because I'm a fool and the, the fire went out, so we woke up. Well, let's uh, go to sleep next to our. Let's actually go to sleep in the boat. Oh, please get out of my way. Looks like dinner came to me. Well, that's how you get some brains. And with the bone pieces we got from those fish that we caught, we can actually make glue, <laughs> funnily enough. Like, that was the thing I was missing is the uh, brain pieces, or... Oh, hello. That's some, uh, some fishing bait as well. Yeah, once you get skilled up, you can just get food from basically anywhere. It's really good. I don't like with these, uh... These uh, fish steaks, we could uh, turn them to um, chopped fish and use that as fishing bait too. So you can kill sharks to get fishing bait to get <laughs> more fish. And if you end up not wanting to even, if you end up not wanting to use the, the chopped fish as bait, you can just cook it and eat it too. Alright, we need to, um... Do that so our little boat's not in the way. Shore fire, shore fire, shore fire! Okay, we're gonna... We're gathering this, this, uh, we're, got, we're doing this explicitly because I fucked up and made my shovel really, we made it lighter by scraping off stuff, but then I, it's durability is really fucking low. Um, I mean, it's already low. We might as well see if we can refine it some more. It's 2.5 weight. Uh, 2.4, it's four durability. Uh, let's reinforce it with one glue and that gets it up to 458. Huh. How, did it gain more weight? I don't think it did. We could probably game this pretty easily. Uh, let's see, 2.4. And two, we, we shaved off like half a pound and now we can reinforce it with glue and it's back up to 400 durability. Okay, that's a little strong. Granted, stone tools aren't super great anyway, but this makes them a lot more useful. Like this thing's like three and a half pounds. We have one more glue, so we can probably do this with this too. Let's uh, refine. 
refine. We'll try to refine, rather. Refine. That's 3.3. Refine. Okay, that's probably as long as we can really risk getting it without it breaking. Reinforce with glue, and then it's back up to 300 durability, and we can uh, repair. And now our spear is a little lighter, and actually I think it has more durability than it started out with, so... Yay! <laughs> All right, well, we're gonna dump all these shark fins in the ocean because I can't be fucking bothered. I'm gonna make a bunch of cord, a bunch of string. Out of the random garbage we had let's uh for now put all the strings here because I want to move I want to move um, that cabin <laughs> over here well as fun as all that was let's try to sleep on the ground again until we all right it is now warm out but as you can see, all the stills here have filled up with water. Oh, there's a, there's a little ra oh, a rattlesnake. Are you aggressive? That's unsnake-like. Well, you're not aggressive anymore. Ooh, you give me some scales and some reptile meat. Mmm, delicious. Yummy! <laughs> uh, shark tooth goes in our shark tooth bag. <laughs> we'll keep the scales too, cause yeah. We are a little peckish, so we're gonna eat this cooked food here. This cooked meat's kind of like got our our longer standing uh, problems. Not really problems, I guess. The uh, foods that um yeah food that is going to spoil that I wanted to use up. So now we can just drink from here. Drink from the front. Better than drinking from the back. Unless you're into that, then more power to you, I guess. Drink, drinking that back, that back liquid. Ugh. Ugh. No, thank you. <laughs> right. Anyway. And then, and just for the sake of um, efficiency, I'm gonna take some water with us. And just kind of get more water going. There's no reason for us not to do so. And now we got four things uh, re-going again. Honestly, at this point, I'm going to keep the other bottles just here. And put that in there. And... A grainy piece of edible reptile flesh. Generally not safe to consume without being cooked due to bacteria. I think it'd just be kind of fun to have the little this little cabin here moved back down to where we're kind of based at. Oh, well, look at you. Aren't you just precious? You look like... You look very made of glue. <laughs> He's glue, da ba dee da ba die. <laughs> well, fun, funny enough... There's a there's a campfire in here that will start a fire at that will um, let us turn you directly into glue. Do not pass go. Do not collect two hundred dollars. Become glue. We do need to move that there so we don't use up our uh, medicine water or our drinking water for making glue because that would just be a waste of resources. All right, I think it was the spear we were messing with. Um,
honestly, fire plug would be a good thing to, to lighten up as well. Because it weighs 5.9 pounds. And we got it down to 5.8. 5.7, 5 5.6, 5 5.5, yeah, now we need to fix it up. Yeah, one, one glue, one tier one glue even got that back up to really high durability. All right, cool. Well, it's a little lighter. We can, we can play with it, or we can play around with it more when we get, uh, We have enough carrying capacity to carry like two walls, two of these walls with us at, at once. That's a little silly, honestly. Um, well, I guess let's start start building, huh? I'm just kind of plucking all the stuff up from here. Already, wow. I mean, I guess it should make sense. The sun is stronger here, that um, the desalinators would work faster, which is another another advantage of having those is they um, they just work faster here, I guess. So we we're, don't have to worry about going thirsty ever, like ev just ever, I guess. All right, that one just finished purifying. That one's probably not gonna take much longer, like another few turns maybe. Yep, <laughs> that one's done now too. All right, we're gonna grab uh, this one. Uh oh, one of these weighs a little more than the other, it seems. In that case, we're gonna we only be able to carry one. <laughs> Oh well. It's almost 11, so after I finish getting these walls and stuff moved over, I'm probably gonna go check up on my roommate and see what the plan is. And if we're gonna do lunch stuff like now, then I'll probably end the stream and then we'll come back after lunchtime to do, um,. Come back after lunchtime to start uh, doing some more uh, Shadows Over Loathing. Fun game. Quite a fan. Quite a fan of the Loathing stuff in general. Alright, we're gonna leave a spot there for a, a door. I think I'm actually gonna pick up the uh the the door another fucking scorpion's coming to visit. Yep, we're gonna pick up the door at one of the walls and the campfire. Ooh, a scorpion stinger. Ah, okay. So that is a uh, perishable form of a medicinal. Okay. Not super useful when you can just grow a bunch of aloe or whatever, but 
what 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 can you really do? All right, so let's put down that. Frankly, having a little, having a house like this, he kind of needed to be bigger to, it just rotted. A raw tainted meat. I didn't even realize I had that. <laughs> oh well. Oh, well, let's just kind of dump some of that crap off. Oh, uh, well, I guess for now we're gonna just build this here. That way I have a controlled place to set up a fire. And we'll put a door in here. We're slowly making progress. Woo! I was like, wait, what, what what DM do I have? And I didn't have one, but it was a friend request. So I was like, oh, cool. Neato burrito. All right, back to uh, the hauling. Pick up this wall. Let's drink more water, because we are a very thirsty critter. If we were truly trying to make this like a uh, a uh, sleep uh, a, a critter-proof house where we can sleep no matter what's outside, we'd have to have like three spaces on each side, I think, of the campfire. But honestly, at this point, that's not really that big of a problem. If something just wakes us up, we can just go kill it or whatever. For now, I don't know if there's like meaner stuff living in the desert. Yeah, we'll figure out the actual structure of this after I get all these walls moved over. a little too heavy. doesn't make sense to have this little small bag holding this wall but you know what it's fine don't worry don't think about it too hard I know I'm not <laughs> should never come here spider 
Yeah, if you don't have any way of sustaining yourself water-wise here, you will die. I can already tell. You will just die a, a horrible death of just dehydration. Well, that's a pretty light wall. We can put that one in there and that one in there. Okay. If you want to talk about heat stroke, that's probably how you get some fucking heat, stro heat stroke. Oh, I just thought it'd be fun to move fun to move this cabin closer to where we actually can use it. Otherwise, it would just have stayed here doing literally nothing. All right. And we're also we're also gonna take the floors too. <laughs> There's no reason not to. It's gonna be it's kind of awkward to put floors down because there can't be something like you know in the way. put the, the door is still up there we'll go put that in that little slot there and basically we've moved the entire cabin the walls at least which I feel is probably the heaviest part we dug with hands which we probably shouldn't do that how's our shovel looking oh, our shovels fine again I forgot I uh, had some glue so Oh, I just realized uh, we're just... This floor is a little heavier than I was expecting it to be. That's okay. Now it would be smarter for us to like dig up all the sand underneath this before putting this down. So we can use all this sand for uh yeah, we can use like all this sand for uh crafting. So I think against my better judgment we're going to do that. <laughs> the door can go there though because well I say guess oh well it didn't mean that. What whoops. We can use up one of those to smother my the fire that I um didn't mean to really start. Alright, so let's start digging. There's a lot of sand here. All right, we, fi we finally made it through. And we've got like a billion sand now. That's not the last bag I interacted with, you shit ass. Come on. Get it together. Stop. <laughs> Stop putting sand in there. That'll, that'll teach you. Yeah, we're, we're, oh, fucker. That's not very nice. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna have to, um, just drop a bunch of sand all over the place out here. On that note, no, give me a, I'll save and give me a sec. I gotta go see what my roommate is up to.
All right, it appears my roommate might still be asleep, so for now I will say we continue going a little bit for a bit, a bit longer. And I will check back at like 12, or if she messages me. Uh-oh, kindling. That does present a small problem, which is even more important why to have this kind of uh, stuff going. Because these don't use fire or kindling or anything like that to uh, get you water. I was hoping these uh, tangle heads would give me some uh, stuff to do fires with, like that. Which just seems like it's a s inconsistent but sustainable way to get kindling here, or tinder rather. Tinder is usually not the problem. It's almost always kindling whenever you're doing fire stuff in this game. Kindling's a little harder. And until we can get some kindling, we, we're not going to be able to start a fire to cook food with, so we need to, uh, what do we have here? Palm leaf, huh? Sharpened bone. Joshua Tree's budding. We might have to, um... Oh, this one's bare. We're gonna, we're gonna take this one. Unfortunately, <laughs> that means we have to be very careful with the wood we have here. We, ca we can use these for kindling, thankfully, though. So tree bark is gonna be fire starter stuff. Here. Normally I wouldn't do that, but we, we kind of need to, unfortunately. For now we're going to just drop these planks, start a fire, start just cooking up all this food before it goes bad, because it's, it's, it's starting to go bad. the fire went out. Great. Well, we'd better make sure we cook everything that we need to while we're here. Oh, shit, that's right. I wanted to make uh, some more glue. Oh, well, we got very little time to do it with. I don't want to, like, have to start another fire. Alright, so we got more glue. The main question is what do we do with it? I still say probably the fire plow is a good thing to kind of scrape away at. 
Okay. Good enough. Due to the scarcity of a uh, medicinal stuff here in general, we're going to um, opt to not eat this uh, tainted meat here. Because if I if I need my medicinal stuff, if I get poisoned by something, I don't want to have to have used it on some stupid shit like <laughs> like oh I just I just kind of felt like eating some tainted meat. <laughs> you know, I'd rather have it and when I need it. Alright, let's drop these seeds on the ground and then this uh, medicinal thing. We'll also hold on to the rot as well, like this plant rot or whatever. That in the water. Cooked scorpion go with us. And I guess for now we'll just put this there. Sure. Okay, let's grab some more of these floorings. Our granite axes and need to repair what? Oh shit, I forgot. I um I did the refinement crap on that too. Um Whoops. That could be problems. And even Okay, that one's ripening as well. Yeah, we're gonna... We might be doing coconut tree uh, forestry <laughs> for uh, to get wood here. That being said, when the tree's finished, they give us food, so it's hardly a waste of time doing for doing this. Well, I should definitely do it closer to my house, cause yeah, doesn't make sense not, doesn't make sense to do it anywhere else, cause then we'll be more easily able to benefit from said forestry. Especially since I'm not like focusing on coconuts to sustain my life force yet. <laughs> Oh, Spoder. You don't want to do this, buddy. Now I kind of want the rat to show up again. Was this one ready? It's flowering. It's not quite ready yet. What about you? Budding. Okay. Budding. Flowering. Budding. Well, shit. <laughs> nope, don't want to do that. Do, 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 do. What is this gonna finish? And this one's just starting growing. 
I've got a Cigar Cigaro Cactus. A fleshy pod gathered from a Cigaro Cactus. It can be cut open to discover its juicy red innards. Or you can just eat it. Just eat it. Eat it. Eat it. Okay, we'll just plant more of those. No reason really not to, I guess. Oh, there's a rat. I was hoping for that. Perfect. Just what I, literally what I was looking for, because I didn't real, I forgot that I did the refinement stuff on my axe, and as a result, my axe is a little um, sad. So in that case, let's use this glue on you. Might as well refine it again since the durability is low as shit. And then we'll do that, and now it's got durability again. Sweet. And now it weighs just a little less. Okay. Well, let's cook up that. Just for the XP. Not gonna eat it. I am, however, gonna fish. Let's see, seven. We got a fish. You cannot fish for a shark? Bet. Looks like I caught a shark. <laughs> You want to bet that I can't fish for a shark? Because I just basically did. And now all we can do is um, dis dismantle our fish here. Gets us a bone to go with the, the brains that we just got from the shark that we couldn't fish for but did. And let's make some more glue. And we can cook those fish steaks. Which, yeah, we're, we're not going to have to worry about food for a while as long as we don't, like, let it all spoil at the same time or whatever. Let's see here. What else, What do we need to do next with our stuff? Oh, we could go fishing for more, f well, more fish. <laughs> With this, this rest of this, let's get another shark tooth. Could be used as a rudimentary cutting tool. I mean, it's better than rudimentary. It's a sharpened three, which is equal to a stone knife, which is not nothing. Granted, metal knives are, of course, better. Uh, speaking of which. Where's my fishing pole? How are you looking on the remote there? Oh, you could probably use this. That's a little better. All right. Time for fishing. Hey, we replaced our fish.
I mean, we, repla we replaced our bait with the fish. Which I would imagine is kind of like what you're able to do when you get high enough fishing. You just... Oh, we're working ourselves to exhaustion. Whoops. We also weigh, we also weigh too much because we have logs in our inventory that I didn't realize we had in our inventory. Let's uh, get rid of those. I was wondering what was what the noise is about. I was like, what? What's that noise? Well, what's going on? Yeah, well, the logs can go here. All right, back to fishing. Fine, maybe we'll eat food or something. Uh, 269. 269 it is. Uh, 179, yeah, we're... Yeah. Seemed like a little bit of wasted hunger, but... If it's gonna go bad, it's gonna get wasted anyway, so I might as well get some benefit from it. Let's see. Unpurified, 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 and unpurified. Okay, well, it's a good thing I had some water left over from earlier in the day. Okay. More fishing. This is completely unnecessary. <laughs> I'm using it to get bones. Basically, yeah, whatever. Oh, we we got a fishing net from fishing. Oh, we got two first. I think this might be the first time we got two fish. We're gonna just cool, keep the fish with us because they have a pretty they have a decent spoil time. Massive red snapper ready to be cooked or dined on raw in a pinch. Yeah, you don't want to eat them raw. You don't have much to gain from it compared to, like, cutting them up and making more fish. I mean, you can just, like, cook the fish whole. We don't want to use our those leaves for, um... We don't want to use those leaves for cordage. We want to use them for, uh... Yeah. You don't want to, I don't want to use the leaves for, for cordage. I want to use them to make a bed. Which will uh, sleep just a little better. But hey, now we got a, a nice amount of uh, bones to make more, um glue with when we get the chance. Someone's outside. Hello. <laughs> oh, jeez. What happened? Ah, uh, some of our cooked stuff went bad. We're also thirsty because it's hot out. <clears throat> But we have water we can drink. <clears throat> well, that meat can just kind of do its own thing. Don't much care. Well, 
Well, let's continue our um, dragging of the um, hello glue. <laughs> <clears throat> Let's continue moving these clay floorings over. Is that a rabbit? Looks like a rabbit. It's an antelope jack rabbit. Oh no, that's right, we were gonna dig up all the... Okay, there was only one there anyway. That's fine. We were gonna be digging up, like, all the, um... All the sand. And all these spots that I'm putting, uh, walling in. Because we can use the sand for making glass and all that. Okay, and then we can just drop the sand right on top of where we dug it from. Or at least some of it. Move these bones out of the way. We've had all these like aggressive creatures trying to kill us so much that our uh, our malign is all just gone now. Because <laughs> if you defend yourself from like things that want to hurt you, it gives you a benign boost since for whatever reason. Which fair enough. Well, let's make some more glue because the uh, the rat started it. Drop our uh, rotten meat. Drop that. Drop that. Drop the tainted meat. Let's eat some spider. There's a little, little spider. Mm -hmm. Repair. Alright, cool. We'll eat a few of those cucumbers just to make sure they don't go to complete waste. I brought them with me to eat, but like we have, we get so much fish and stuff pretty easily that it's not as big of a deal. I do want to move these bandages to this bag though. Just to have less stuff in this bag. Alright, well. Purified water, drink. I might as well fill my thirst up completely. And then we'll grab a hold of this liquid and this liquid. And then we're gonna fill up all the stills. Oh yeah, there's another shark. Another two shark. Another three sh another four sh 
five sharks. Yeah, if I was worried about food, I, I shouldn't be. Because there's a lot of sharks apparently living here on this island, so. I don't know if I'm even going to bother bringing... I'll probably just keep replanting all the coconuts I pick, because I don't have to use them for food, apparently. But in... But in... But in... Rappin'. This aloe seed other over here where the other one is. And slowly but surely just get a bunch of uh, aloe growing and then if we need medical stuff we can just come pick it. Kind of the same concept as um as the uh, be beggar ticks back on the mainland. Oh, you're ripening again. Well, don't mind if I do. You're budding still. Christ, how much sand is there here? There we go. God damn. Now we're gonna have to just take some damage anyway. Now we're gonna just like make massive piles of the sand outside. I don't really have anything else I can do with it. I mean, I can process it into stuff, but like, not yet. Don't really need to. But I do want to clear out some of the floor in here. So we're just making massive piles of sand outside. Move to backpack. Alright. I don't I don't want to think of how much sand that actually is. There's like 12, 11, 13. Yeah, there, there's a lot of sand there. Uh, 
And the worst thing is like each of these walls have a, a, a floor that can go underneath them too. So it's just, yeah, we could have a lot more than we even already have. And we're gonna just plant more coconuts. Okay, I think it's later in the day and it's not as hot, so. Budding, budding. Budding. What's over here? Is there anything over here? Not really. Broccoli pear is ready though. Since I don't need the food from from them right now, we will propagate more of them. So. If, when the time comes and I don't have as much food left over the night from what I brought, I they'll be there for me to do so. To live off of. I want to say there's probably enough time left in the day for to get to desalinate more water. Now, if there's one place you probably want eight of these, it's probably here in the desert. As it is, our uh, thirst uh, usage is not as high as it is, or it could be. Don't cross me, scorpion. Coconut husk, Joshua tree. Sandstone ground, which means you found sandstone. I guess we'll get to see what kind of stuff is in the walls here. So far, nothing, of course. Clay, huh? Well. Oh, shit, I didn't mean to pick up the sand. That's a rather deep uh, clay deposit, I would say. Uh, 
Ah, we're just a little shy on space. Well, now I might have to make some harder decisions. Let's see. Oh, or maybe not. That's point six we can get rid of. That's point one. That's point four. That's point one. That's just one. Okay, we still need to lose a little bit more weight. We can probably stuff some in here, some clay in here too. Honestly, the more backpacks you can have on you, the better, because they just let you carry more shit. Well, case in point, we got all this clay we can make, take back with us to. Make more floors, I guess. <laughs> do, 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 do. Now we're just gonna like dump all this clay out here in like the in the yard, <laughs> basically. All these uh, clay flakes there, and then as much of the clay as will fit. And this pile. Well, that pile's full. Let's uh, make another clay pile. <laughs> Alright, sweet. Well, that was not what I was expecting to find, but we definitely found some. Well, there's a little bit more left in here, too, it looks like. Well, our, our food situation is uh, not dire. It's more saying, like, some stuff is gonna like, go bad pretty soon, unfortunately. We want to keep the bones. And frankly, with these uh, raw fish pieces, I think I want to try fishing with them before they go bad. Never mind, they went bad. These ones are not as bad off though. So let's see if we can get another fish from... Wait, can I use that as... Oh no, I was like, I was like, can I use rotten meat as bait? Okay, we got another fish. I can't fish for a shark. Fine. <laughs> God damn it. Rude. Well, I got one fish out of it. Oh, hello. <laughs> Fucking rats is like, what's up? Blah! It's just cave with skull in. As you do, sometimes you just 
Sometimes you just gotta cave, cave, a, cave a rat's skull in, I guess. Uh. Scoop, scoop the brains, scoop the brains. And get some seawater. And we'll make some more glue to make something a little less shit. Now what we're gonna do it with, I don't really know. Axe is looking fine. Um, Honestly, the skill cap's looking a little, uh, a little weak. So let's uh, try to reinforce that. Uh, leather working. Okay, that explains why that is the way it is. Just gonna fix up all our stuff. Can't fix the shield yet. That is the advantage of non-metal um, gear is that most of the time you can just kind of repair it on the spot without needing special conditions to do so. All right, well. Our character. Uh, let's see. Oh, I was worried about it. the kids still got like a thousand turns. This one a little less so. We're probably gonna go to sleep and then when we wake up we'll uh eat that cucumber if it's still alive. It is still oh, well at least one of them's still alive. That one The rest, the, re the rest of our rotten stuff can go. I don't know if it's rotting faster because it's in the water, but. I might as well make compost out of the rotten stuff. I don't know if I'll ever be able to use it here, but it's certainly better than just like not. All right, well that can just kind of hang out now. Maybe don't put it on my aloe plant. It might not appreciate that. Okay, and we'll just drop all this compost. Move you back where you belong. Hmm. Let's see here. OBS has like been screaming most of the stream. It's like encoding overloaded. It's like, what do you mean? This is literally a pixel game. Calm down. I think I think OBS is just a little a little bit of a freak. Me too. Probably not the same way though. <laughs> oh, our cooked scorpion has decayed. Oh no. I just didn't really get around to eating it. Oh, I just realized that we're still thirsty. Whoops. Let's fix that. Glug, glug, glug. You know, we just we just have like just just a whole bunch of this sand, and we're gonna get even more because I'm gonna be digging up all the sand I can find when putting these walls in place. 
Because originally I was gonna just, um, like, leave these doors unfilled, but we got all this clay over there that we might be able to actually turn into, um, stuff. Oh no, I was thinking, I think there was a bit of spire string down here we can use to... Oh, super rat! A rat of unusual size. With sharp claws and piercing teeth. Keep at a distance without equipment. This creature seems abnormally territorial and aggressive. It may be particularly vicious. Well, it might be time for it to die. You wanna, you wanna tussle? Yeah! Great job. Go team. <laughs> Whatever. It's like, oh, this rat might be terrifying, and I just killed him one hit. <laughs> anyway. As I was saying, there was that spider silk over there. <laughs> All this effort because I was just suspecting that there might be copper on this island, and I still just have not seen any. I just haven't seen anything yet, so I don't even really know. You know let's just cut out the middleman, just drop the tainted meat on the ground. Grab some seawater. Oh, another, another rat! Well, you know I can't pass that up. God damn it, Bobby. Bringing rats in here. All right. Don't need you or you. And we've got like way too many animal claws already. <laughs> More hides. All right, animal glue, go. Sweet. All right. I, I want to say there's something that I was going to fix up next. I can't remember what, though. Um. Magical properties. Well, let's eat this cucumber before I forget to, and it just goes bad. Um. Probably not a bad idea. I did. Probably not a bad idea to use it on the mortar and pestle. Let's uh, refine it a few times though to make it get that weight down, because it's a little chunky. Oh, yep, it's got, like, literally two durability, so we're gonna have to reinforce that. And then let's just keep, let's just keep going. Just sc scrape off more of it. That's how it works in real life. Why is it, why am I failing that so much? There we go. We've, we've trimmed off like five or six or so weight from it. Point, well, point six, but that's still less weight I just carry around now. Let's move you down here. It's kind of like the food bag. Meat sack. <laughs> oh, meat sack. Out of the way, meat sack. Let's 
still no idea if I'm going to use this compost, but it's better than letting the rotten stuff just not do anything, I guess. one of them to catch another fish perfect uh, let's see we'll keep these on us and if we so desire we can catch more fish later In the interest of not screwing myself over, we're going to leave one still just full of purified water in the event that, like, I get in a bad situation where I, like, need water, like, immediately just to not die. <laughs> right, I'm filling these all back up anyway, but... And I also have that water there if I, if I really need it. But we're gonna go, um... <clears throat> poke around and see if I can find some metal somewhere. Can you not? I'm busy. <laughs> flowering, flowering, budding. I want to kind of see what's up there next, I guess. <clears throat> A remarkable coconut tree. Nice. Ooh, is that what I think it? That is what I think it is. Okay. So I was correct that arid islands have copper. Nice. Which means I could come here, mine a bunch of copper, and then leave. And then mine a bunch of tin, and then like work on processing all of it back at the normal base. Sharp glass. Ooh, there's a little cave here. this thing grinds repair three as I compared to my hammer it's not as good but what is a let's see oh well that's not what I want to do well cool but no thanks who do we actually have I mean, it's nice and cool down in the caves, as you would expect. <clears throat> Let's explore. There's some gravel. There's a skeleton, which means there's pro. Yep. Oh, a small bag. Yeah, I'll take another small bag. Maybe this small bag can be for food. Specifically for food.
<laughs> you can have a bag in a bag. All right, does that work? Can it? <clears throat> It do that does work. <laughs> That's silly, but interesting to know. Is that your small your bags can go in your bags and they reduce the weight for each other? That's fun. That's fu fun gaminess. I like that. So our food is gonna be in this little bag now. I think these have like this. Do they have the same um, preservation? They actually have better preservation than the backpacks do. Good to know. So food in these bags is actually fresher for even a little longer than otherwise. All right, well, all our food now goes in this little bag. And this container is our bag container. <laughs> Although, yeah, we'll see. Hello, other skeleton. Do you also have a bat? All right, all right, all right, cool. Ooh, what do we have here? Ten, huh? I mean, I have ten at home, so I'm not as interested in that. But it's interesting that you oh, oh, I didn't, I didn't cut you up. I was like, wait, why? Why did you get up? And the answer is because I didn't, I didn't like break you apart if you don't if you don't disassemble the skeletons they'll just get back up later and come after you again so even if I don't necessarily want or need their bones ooh, what we have here a journal what we what we got William J Andrews this island seems to react to my presence. I often have a weird feeling, like something is watching me, but besides the constant barrage of bloodthirsty creatures at my heels, that feeling never leaves me. It follows me even into my dreams. I'm not sure how many more sleepless nights I can lead. There it is again. I fell a tree. I hear it. There it is again. I burned a tree. The humming continues. There it is again. The end. I started a forest fire. It's too loud. Yeah, um, doing, that just kind of like, vaguely explains the uh, benign and malign system a little bit. Now let's, while we're down here, let's grab ourselves some copper. Copper is really light, it looks like, so we can probably carry a lot of it with us at, at a time. Oh jeez, we got a, a bunch of copper from that one vein. Again, fine by me. Now I got like three small bags. <laughs> oh, I didn't, thought I moved it. I didn't know. I didn't think I dropped it. Uh, let's see. Moved a small bag, and that bag is not full <laughs> from all of that. All right. Oh, I just realized it's after twelve. Well, there's a spider. Let's uh, mine this. Can you not? I'm, I'm busy here. Come back later, Spider. The adults are talking. By adults, I mean me. Surprisingly. <laughs> Alright. Well, that's a lot of copper. And we could all just keep it in this bag here. Alright, well, this one's probably not going to hold much, so let's... This one is our little uh, fire bag, I guess you could say. This one's our food bag, and this one is the one we're using to carry stuff in right now. 
it's gonna slot that nice in there nice and easy um, give me one sec I'm gonna go see how my roommates doing and go from there on if I will be ending the stream Alright, roommate wanted some more time to sleep, so we are going to play this some more. Finish my coffee off. Now chase that with some bottled water. Yummy. Alright, where were we? Okay, we were mining... Uh... Any copper if we could find it. Alright, so. How much durability does this have? 600? It'll last a little longer. Let's see. Oops, skeleton. With iron. Okay. So this island has. Um, oh, fuck you. Shit ass. There's gravel. There's another bit of, of copper over here. into here we should be able to this is these wood chests are pretty easy to lock pick in the grand scheme of things let's see Ooh, a backpack hello and a piece of talc a tin axe and a golden sextant uh, Hmm. I mean, the tin axe is very light, even compared to my at my axe is like f five pounds. So the tin axe is very light in comparison. Also, some talc that I'm not really super worried about because talc is not very rare back on the other island. Well, that was fun, I guess. Don't you run from me? Oh, there's limestone here. Nice. Uh, let's see. Wooden arrow. We're just gonna... Chop that up. Thank you. 
We're gonna dismantle all these bones, because I'm pretty sure the... I mean, they're probably not that much, uh, lighter, actually. Well, that's another 50 weight reduction we can have, if we can carry enough of it, at least. So I might shift this bag to here. Yeah. Trying to find the uh, little pouch. Surely it's not a small bag. Or maybe it is. doesn't really say how much it reduces it by. Possibly not much. I don't know. Oh, a copper chest. That's interesting. Hello, hello, Hug Dispenser. Hope you're having a wonderful day today. We're going a little longer for this morning kind of stream, because, well, the roommate just still wants some sleep, which I am happy to oblige, so we haven't done lunch yet. Why do I have gravel? Go away. I uh, don't really need that either. Let's throw these bones. I just, I just ha casually have a backpack full of bones. Don't question it. <laughs> Let's crunch up some of this limestone powder because it'll make it way less. Ah, yeah. No doubt, no doubt, no doubt. I'm sure there's plenty of pl plenty, plenty of free ways you can do that. <laughs> Or if I guess if you're so obliged, not freeways as well. Yeah, no. Wizard, Wizards of the Coast is dog shit. Okay, that backpack is full. Well, just don't give him any more money. In that case, I guess. Alright. 
And if I was smart, I would uh, not go mine this last piece of this last uh, hunk and chunk of uh, limestone here. But I never claim to be smart. <laughs> it's going pretty good. We are on a different island than our starter island because I was I made the discovery by looking at. A fan, one of the fandom wikis that I didn't think there was an up-to-date wiki at all, really, that bronze is in this game, and it is the highest tier metal, and I previously thought that was iron, so I've been, like, going full throttle towards, like, producing iron, and now I'm realizing that that, not a waste of time, but definitely not as high up as I thought it was, so. We're just kind of, like, on this other island. Just kind of exploring around. I'm, I'm, I'm underground. I'm underground. Alright. Um, these bottles don't weigh much, but I'll probably move them to this little bag as well. Just to kind of lighten the load as much as possible. So I can be greedy and like try to haul this back too. <laughs> The greed is real. Uh, let's see, let's crunch up. Just barely. Ooh, we can, let's see what's in this copper chest though. I really shouldn't be <laughs> trying to get more loot then what I have, let's see, a book. Insides and back have heavy wear on inspection. And there's a bunch of leather stuff. Uh, can we read this book? Using techniques and skills my father taught me in my youth, I was successfully able to ward off the monstrosities using traps. The snare and the deadfall became my most useful weapons. I spent days crafting traps and placing them outside my shelter instead of focusing on traditional weaponry. My combat skills are not so great and I have not found a meaningful resource to craft armor, so trapping appeared to be my best bet to dispatch these creatures. I think I just heard my deadfall squish another giant spider. I'll write more on my imp improvised spider meat meal. Sadly, cooking is not my forte either. Neat. I would love to take this chest with me because I think copper chests have the highest um, food preservation score of all the chests. Because coptic, co coptic, copper is antiseptic in, in nature, I think, based on, like, its chemicals. It's, you know, science shit. Fucking nerd shit. I think I came this way. Now, I do want this iron, but I'm not really worried about it right this very second. I think it was down here? No, I... It's right there. Okay. Whee! Just hoofing along, hoofing along. Looking like a little dragon or a little snake. Because our, our full scale armor that we have now. Alright. Now, let's... Oh, we can just leave this on the ground. Don't need that. do we have here? Oh, of course we have coconuts. Let's see if we can squeeze them in somewhere, because I want to plant those. Oh, just barely. <laughs> I am so greedy. <laughs> so unbelievably greedy. <clears throat> I am packed to the gills. And then so, oh, it's Jesus. It's the Jesus Island. <laughs> Great. Thanks, World Gen. <laughs> Praise be Jeebus. Look at all these sharks. Getting a little hungry. Maybe I should eat a few of them. Uh, before that, though, let's eat this cucumber that I, that I brought with me that's starting to go bad. Unfortunately, there's not much dirt here to grow things with. So we've had to kind of um, adapt to the circumstances by just planting a bunch of coconuts. 
and there will be more coconuts planted before we are done. It's also that the coconut trees are like the most plentiful source of wood as well, so when they fully grow we can uh, get coconuts, chop down the tree, replant the coconut, and all, all, the, all that fun stuff, you know. And just like, our, just like our other base, we just have a lot of garbage on the floor. As you do. Okay, I, I grabbed these, uh... Let's see, I think there's some uh, prickly pears. And I've got some cigarros. Fruits. And we're gonna just keep planting stuff. I don't currently need the food, but... When the time comes and I do need the food, I'll, I'll at least have stuff planted the help sustain life in this fairly inhospitable place. Like, during the day, the sun is drains your thirst pretty readily. seeds, planting seeds, planting seeds, planting seeds. <clears throat> yeah, that's that's my feeling about a lot of games, honestly, is like, there's so many little games I'd love just to be playing, like, I was watching some videos with this one called Stacklands yesterday at work and I was like, oh, I'd really want to play this game, but like, I already got like a full schedule of shit I'm playing right now as it is that I don't want to like disband or stop playing for any good reason, you know, so it's like, mm, shit. Yeah, this is a fun little game. And it's gotten a lot more uh, polished and complex since the last time I played it previously, so. This game's also multiplayer, and there's also not there's also a mode where you can play where it's not just like turn-based like I'm currently playing it. I prefer turn-based because you get plenty of time to figure out what the hell you need you want or need to do. Well, on that note, let's start. Let's let's go to our little boat here. Uh, open container. I'm gonna start just dumping this limestone powder in the seat in here because that's stuff I want to take with me back home same with this copper ore copper ore is the whole reason they even came here so yeah we're, we're... It used to be there was only like one island that you started on and that was like the entire world and you could like go sailing off the other side of the world to like generate a new one. But then they made it to where you can sail to new islands where, where they spread more resources out between so you have to kind of like explore to get everything. Which I think is perfectly fine. Like on the, on the starter island you can't find iron and... I don't think you can find anything other than tin, which you can use tin to uh, make metal stuff, but it's not very good. That's like the lowest tier metal. Copper is a little higher than that, and if you combine both of them together, you can make uh, bronze, which is the highest tier. So that's why I'm here is to get copper, because my my native island has tin. So I just figured that's wise. Okay, and we crunched up all those bones. Let's put them on the floor. Just less stuff. Uh, let's see. Do we weigh more if we take this bag and put it elsewhere? No. We don't. I was thinking that was an exploit we could do. Just have, like, bags in... Well, that one seems like it might have. Uh, let's see. 5.7... No, I think that was just a coincidence. I don't I don't know. Okay, 
so this little bag is holds all of our fire tending stuff which we're actually pretty low on tree bark so we've got some uh, logs here we're gonna sl slice and dice because we can use the tree bark to be uh, we can use the tree bark as uh, kindling to start fires oh shit I just realized I just dismantled the tree bark I had left <laughs> into cordage which is fine but that's not exactly what I wanted to do because we got plenty of a cordage in other places and other ways I meant to dismantle the logs to get more tree bark yep shark tooth go away shark teeth can be used to to um, dismantle things like with a like a sharp tool and now we have plenty of tree bark no not that one Uh, let's switch these around. Move to inventory, move all tree bark, and move to bag. It should go in the other one now. No? Whatever. I don't know. I don't know. Absolutely. You can, you can rename bags. You mean you should be able to. Yeah. Yeah, you can rename bags. You can rename chests. So you can kind of like organize like, oh, well, this is going to be where I put all my, uh, fire starting stuff which I mean I probably should do that <laughs> fire starting that's where I keep I like to keep all my like my tinder and crap in there Little tree bark close this one and all the fire starting. There we go. I'm frankly, I'm probably gonna leave this other bag just like. Oh, this other bag is uh, food in it. That's what, because they have the little sacks have slightly better uh, food preservation than the backpacks do. Um. Well. <clears throat> We've got bark now to start fires with, and I'm just holding on to the planks in case I need them for anything. Although you can turn the planks into poles, and then the poles can be turned into dowels, and then if you need to, the dowels can be turned into like wood dust, which for uh, tinder. Yeah, this is just this island is. Um, Strictly for, um, I came here strictly to get copper, and we have found copper. But I also should try to, like, hmm. My weight's higher than I expect it to be. I wonder what I, what's causing that. Probably all this junk, so I guess we're gonna go fishing. Found a shark. You're not what I asked for. <laughs> a lit tele torch did not seem to be to be hurting a shark. Well, well, let's let's give it let's give it something that might hurt it a little more, like an axe. Yep. Thanks, shark. Thanks for the meat and the the other shark. That's how I've been getting the shark teeth for cutting things, just murdering sharks. Well, I guess fighting's a bit the better thing, because they, they, they come to me. It's like March of the Penguins, except sharks. They're just coming up here to die. Oh, that's an aberrant shark. Well, oh, it's dead. There's a lot of, there's a lot of sharks here. Holy shit. 
four, four shark cor corpses and an aberrant shark corpse. Yeah, I'm, um, yeah. Well, since we got an influx of food, let's, uh, just kind of eat some of that before it goes bad. Well, let's start, oh, there's more. Oh, that's another aberrant shark. Can you see? Can't you see? I'm busy. <laughs> this is absurd. Well, we've got some. <laughs> we've got some shark meat, I guess. Holy shit! That's all. That's a, that's a few. Uh, let's see. So that one's fire starting, so this one needs to be called, uh, Eaten. Or... Grub. <laughs> grub! Yeah, grub! Uh, for now we're gonna move all these, uh, brains to, uh... That's not... Grub. <clears throat> why? why? Why you like this game? Probably because like the most recently opened bag or some something. Eh, it wants to go to that back. Fine, we'll close all the other bags. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Move to grub. All right. All well, those little shark brains are in there now. <laughs> Jesus. Fine, we'll move all this stuff in there. Our little grub bag is uh, a little full. Uh, I, that's a lot of fish steaks. <laughs> Jeez, look at all these shark. All these shark fins aren't really useful for anything. They do have decay, so they'll eventually turn to like rot, so that you can uh, make fertilizer out of them. And that's kind of what I usually do with them: is just just make a pile of shark fins. And now we've got like a million shark teeth for cutting. And we're I, I will use every single one of them. Because you, you do a lot of dismantling, which needs sharpened items. So all these shark teeth are just free ways to do that. And plus you get food out of it too. It's like, hard, it's kind of hard to beat, honestly. Sharks, once you can strong enough to just fight sharks. You don't have to worry as much about food if you live near the coast. Because, I mean, there's probably just a bunch of sharks out there. And thanks to fighting all those sharks, we've got our uh, benign up significantly which makes things bad things spawn less often which I mean I'm not that worried about that but it's just a little less annoyance I guess anywho how much of these what 12 that's that's a few let's I'm gonna move these bottles back to the inventory where I normally have them Okay, all, I think all of our water is purified in the stills here. Let's take a slurp. Yeah, we're gonna use all these uh, brains here to make glue, so I need to get um, 12 bones to go with them. Oh, I have too much weight. Oh no. Yeah, they the whole being overweight thing, they made it a lot less uh, punishing than it used to be. In the olden days, you would lose a lot, much larger portion of your stamina if you're overweight and just moving around. 
Maybe it still does that if you're very overweight, but like, I don't know. I still avoid it, because that's stamina you could be using for literally anything else. So, start a beach fire. <laughs> As you do, you just start a fire on the beach and start making, start making this uh, glue. This glue. Okay, and then we'll grab some more seawater. And we'll make some more glue. I use seawater because it's very plentiful. As you might be able to guess, there's just not really a limit to how much seawater exists. So if you can use seawater for something, you absolutely should. Now I just gotta figure out what I'm doing with all this glue, because that's a ridiculous amount of glue. Alright, um... Well, we can start cooking these fish steaks, I guess. Better to better to cook them while you while they're uh, fresh. And actually, I do. I could also turn all these fish steaks into this uh, chopped fish, which then makes it usable as a uh, fishing bait, which you can use to catch other fish <laughs> with the sharks you killed. But <coughs> I don't think we need to really go that far and down the rabbit hole of food uh, dependency or independence rather because most of this is probably going to eventually go bad anyway just we have way too much food um i i, I will um just turn all those fish steaks into uh Yeah, and if you uh, do actions that cost stamina when you have no stamina, that um, that hurts you a little. And we're also still overweight. <laughs> um, how much does this glue weigh? That might be okay. Yeah, this glue is a little hefty, so let's um, move it to our backpack. All right, so we're at least not gonna take damage from that. <laughs> Uh, let's take a little bit nap on the on the beach. Doesn't need to be long. I just need to have it um, so I can dismantle these fish steaks into fish meat. That also leaves up a few of these shark teeth. Oh, hey, look, we got all the we got all the fishes. And now we can cook all that at our uh, own discretion. Oh. What we're going to be doing with this glue though is we have this uh where is this item? Let me put this away. I I think it's in here. Yeah, we have this item called uh, Iron Refinement Tools, which you can use it to kind of like scrape weight off of other items to reduce their weight. Which seems weird, like a weird thing you'd want to do, but like all the, all our tools, especially these stone ones, tend to weigh a little bit. So if you can uh, reduce, like this fire plow is like five pounds out of our like hundred and something weight which it's in the bag so it weighs half as much but that's still like a lot of weight that we can reduce by just using glue and the because when you refine that it reduces some of the durability and reduces like 0.1 weight like I'll do one here let's see it's 0.3 and it's 135 0.2 0.1 and and now that's three durability, I don't really feel safe doing it any more refinement until we reinforce it with some glue, which bumps the durability back up. Let's repair with our hammer, and we'll just keep going until we can't do it anymore, because...
Hmm. So yeah, now this thing weighs 4.2. Which I, I guess if you think about it, every every one weight you reduce of something that's in your bag is technically two weight reduced on you because one weight is like it weighs half as much when it's in here so it just weighs less so yeah we're that, that glue is a big windfall to find so we're, we're gonna just uh keep going This may be a bit of an, a little exploity, but I mean, the game lets me do it. Oh, it's already fully refined, okay. I guess there's a, a limit of how far it can go. Hey, that's fine. We, we, it, was, it was 5.2 and now it's 3.5. That's a lot less weight. All right, well, I guess the rest of this glue is gonna be used doing it to this uh, pestle and mortar instead then. Because that's another source of weight that we can uh, reduce. character is a little sleepy and we've gotten a lot done here so let's uh, start a fire and let's cook up I'm just gonna cook all this uh, fish you know I will we'll eat one might as well enjoy our part of our labor Uh, the, the fire went out. I was like, what, where fire go? Speaking of which, I need to make sure I... I have another one of those little bags somewhere. Where the hell is it? <laughs> That's fire starting. Where's this one? It's probably like really obvious and I'm just not seeing it like it's probably really obvious where the bag is and I'm just literally not seeing it that little bag oh it's there duh of course it is um, yeah let's move you out fire starting how much more fire starts oh we, we got enough I was just like concerned if I was gonna run out of fire starting stuff before I get a uh, this fish cooked up a bit more. All right. Well, it's basically morning time, and we're. I'll just rest a little longer. Okay, um, something is outside, that's fine. I don't really care. We're just gonna cook the rest of our fish here. All right, that is all of that stuff cooked there. 
let's continue doing refinement stuff on our pestle and mortar. Let's we'll have some glue. I'm mostly just curious how low I can get this thing's weight to. Cause that's significantly less weight. I think normally to get something this light you'd probably have to make a um, like a metal pestle mortar or something maybe. Oh, that one's fully refined. <clears throat> nice. Alright, that's good enough for now. Let's repair that. Repair you. And we're able to use up all that glue. Alright, who's outside? <laughs> Bonk. Oh, I'm in hardcore mode. Always. 100% of the time. There's no other way to really play the game. Again, no judgment if someone else doesn't play it in a hardcore mode, but like... The whole point of a survival game is to be able to survive and like, I don't know. Oh, I don't need... Well, I guess I'll just leave this like... Over here... Ah, so our tree bark has already ran out that we, oh wait, no, our tree bark didn't run out. It was the, uh, kin, probably the first time in a long time I've run out of kindling, not kindling, uh, tinder, the other thing. They can turn poles into dowels, and then dowels into uh, wood shavings, which can be your uh, tinder. Apparently, it also counts as pulp, which I guess you can make paper with. Uh, I've not really messed around with the cartography and map making, map, map making stuff. Apparently, I also haven't messed around with having a working brain that says words. <laughs> Okay, it is food time for the for our little critter here. Let's see, we've got a cooked scorpion. Let's eat that first, because it's been kind of just chilling out for a while. Got pemmican, pemmican, spider meat that we can use for fishing. Let's close all this other... Oh, actually, this backpack here has uh, limestone in it that I want to offload to our boat. I mostly came here to find copper, but I'll definitely take limestone too, because it's kind of a pain to find at this point in my, my character's life. Alrighty. I don't need the animal fat, you can just go in the ocean. <laughs> yeah, I honestly don't even need this pelt either, you can just go in the ocean too, whatever. Okay, close that, close that. So now in grub, we can just shove all this cooked fish meat. Or cooked chopped fish. 
And now we've got like a million food and we'll just kind of eat it as we need to and probably, we can turn it into pemmican if it really comes to it to kind of make sure it doesn't all expire. Which is definitely a good good use of it if you're gonna like, if it's gonna go bad, you might as well do something with it. All right, time to drink. <laughs> I casually say, mmm, let's get, let's drink some, well, we're gonna drink water. I don't any longer have any, like, uh, fruits or veggies from the mainland that I brought with me, so we're gonna have to rely solely on, um, our stills here, which is fine. That's why I brought them with me. So we'll just gather this extra liquid and then we'll fill all these back up. These are so, so good. You attach a container to them, you pour seawater in, and then you just go fuck off somewhere for a while. And then when you come back, give enough time, they'll just be water for you for free. Because the sun is just great like that. All right, so what's our next nerd to do list? Oh, the heat's back. All right, um, this palm, this palm tree, this coconut tree down here is finally ready to do stuff too. So we'll power power cycle. What brain? What that doesn't make any sense. Power cycle the coconut tree. This isn't work. Go the fuck to sleep. <laughs> have you tried turning it off? Have you tried turning your coconut tree on and off again? <laughs> Fucking hell. Uh, I'll just. Oh shit! Didn't mean to do that. Figured it's still growing. Oh, rip, literally, rip. Yeah, stuff grows a little slower here, it seems, which, I mean, makes perfect sense. Yeah, my, my method of forestry here on this place is to uh, grow coconut trees. That's the only really way you can really do it. There are Joshua trees too, though. Okay, moved fire starting. That gets us a, a good amount of uh, kindling. With the planks in here, and then we'll start dismantling the planks for poles and such. Getting kindling and stuff this way is a little tedious, but it's kind of, you kind of have to do something like that to get useful stuff around here, because the desert doesn't have much in the way of that kind of stuff. Let's see. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Five, six, seven, eight. We've got 12. It's probably fine. We'll figure it more out more later. You just want to have a you just want to have enough of both to kind of be able to do Was this ripen, huh? Well, that one got me three. All right. Let's mantle two of these, and I'll eat 
one. Oh, well, I'm a fool. I could have just eaten it and gotten the seed anyway. Some plants don't let you do that, so that's why I usually kind of dismantle it if I want seeds. Because, like, if you eat cucumbers, they don't give you the seeds. But if you eat, like, apples and, I guess, uh, cigarro cactuses, you, you get the seeds back, so... Well, I guess we can test if the prickly pears give you, uh, seeds when you eat them. They do not. Case in point, you don't want to do that if you want prickly pears. See, I'm just ro roaming the desert, planting prickly pears and shit, I guess. There's like a little oasis here that has some trees and such. Flowering. Alright. Main reason I came here is... <laughs> oh, shit. I just did not pay attention and ran right over that. Yeah, the reason I came here in the first place is to get copper, so that's what we should go do. Now that our weight's a little lower, and tumbleweed! Hmm. Alright, well, this is where we, uh, nice and cool down here, though, so we can, uh, not worry as much about dehydration. Alright, let's see what we can find. I'm looking for copper, chiefly. Ooh, a tin chest. Okay, let's, uh, try to burgle our way in there. Just open every single bag other than the one I need. Okay, uh, lockpick. It's, it's you right here, I think. Oh, well... Oh, that lockpick's dead. That's fine. I got another. Let me in! Ooh, hello. A roll of red carpet? Excuse me, what? That's cool. Tin ore, eh. A tin pickaxe that's mine five. That's technically higher mining than my iron one. Oh, wait, no, it's not. I'm stupid. Mine's My iron one's mine six. Still. That's kind of cool. What else we got around here? Looks like we got some limestone. We got some tin in the walls. Some iron there. Oh, a spooky ghost. Don't you run from me. <laughs> tin tongs. Uh, Alright. An interesting choice of... Uh, Armament, armament, pirate ghost. Maybe they're really into grilling. Ah, here's some, here's some copper. Let's drop this. Kablam! And that, and let's... Thankfully, copper is pretty lightweight. Uh, let's open up our other bag. Well, one of our other bags. There we go. Let's see if we can find some more copper around here. Well, we technically did. It's a chest. Let's see if we can break into here. To 
dexterity increased. Cool. Alright, what we got? Superior leather boots. Are those better than the ones I have? Mm, not particularly. The only thing they really have over other stuff is, um, it seems like, is, um, <laughs> durability, which, eh, whatever. I do want this chest, though. That'd be really useful just to have in general. Now what I might do also is um, Oh hello rat Goodbye rat <laughs> Okay definitely don't want the tainted meat so that goes away We have a chest that we we have a chest in our inventory that we put things in into. <laughs> you can technically use it as kind of like a bag, but it's also a bit heavy to do that with. Yeah, food preservation 60%, which is um, the highest of any chest in the game. That's partially why I want it, so I can just store all my food like this back at base now I was thinking we could uh like d dig down to the underground from like somewhere a little closer like maybe like here we can just kind of dig until we find it because when you're digging in the ground you can you can discover an entrance to the cav caverns below. Basically anywhere. At my base back at uh, the other island, I actually did that, have done that before <laughs> without really meaning to. It can be useful because I don't think things can follow you up the stairs. Come on. Please. Well, since we're digging a lot, let's... um repair our let's reinforce our shovel and then repair it like, since we're just digging a lot right now jeez all right we finally got through all the damn sand the sand weighs quite a bit actually it is useful but it just weighs a lot We can kind of cheese it a little by dropping things, moving to the spot, picking it up, and then dropping it again. All right. What is this? Desert sand now? Oh, clay. Just digging through various layers of the earth. There's more clay under there, apparently. Look, game. I'm just try. I'm just trying to find. Ah, now we got sandstone ground. Now we should be able to find a. Uh... You can use that to find rocks, but we're we're. Now there's more gravel. I'm just. I'm just trying to find the entrance to the underground. Come on now, please. My finger's getting tired, pressing the five key to dig. And my character's out of stamina. Let's drink some water. I need to anyway. Let's eat this cigarro cactus fruit. <laughs> Let's drink some water. We're just digging a hole out here and freaking on the beach. 
It's not even a fun hole, it's just... It's strictly for business. We've got way too much stuff on our person. Surely I could just find one here, but no, we're just finding everything else apparently. I didn't even know you could get this much stuff like that. Like, I've found... I almost always, like, find, uh, like, the, what I'm looking for long, long before I get all this crap. Let's see. Drop items at feet. We'll change that briefly so I can just kind of drop stuff here. N normally you just drop stuff like in front of you. We had to kind of take a bit of a hit there. And now we just have like a bunch of clay. Oh, well, <laughs> Jesus Christ. Look at all this garbage I found just trying to like find the, a, ca a cavern. <laughs> That's just way too much. What a mess. <laughs> We're just like limping back home after exhausting ourselves. If I was thinking, hmm, we could dig there and like make a tunnel way back to that tunnel. Or we could dig a tunnel there down to like our house or something. To where we could like go in to the underground and avoid the heat of the day since we're trying to find copper anyway, you know? gonna put this chest here and this chest is gonna become our uh, hold all of our food that way we don't have to we can just kind of carry a few of like the purple ones with us The rest of them can kind of just hang out here while they'll last a lot longer. <laughs> and all that digging also got us like a lot of malign, which I don't really care about necessarily. What is this? Joshua tree flowers. Medicinal, huh? And then we got Joshua Tree Fruits. The, the oval shaped fruiting body of the Joshua Tree. It appears to be edible, but maybe more pleasant cooked. Well, we're definitely planning more of these. I'm not really that concerned, like, taking this damage planning these because well I think I have enough hunger loss where I can justify eating something yeah technically I can eat some of these uh, more uh, damaged foods here sort of by decay so the stuff at the top has got the least durability left to it so we'll eat this one Mmm, yum. Okay, we got some purified water. Let's gather that. Drink this. And then we'll fill up these two stills again. Oh, 
Oh, our, ta our, our torch, like, actually burnt out. I, have, I was just kind of holding this torch forever. <laughs> Whoops. Oh, well. Alright, well, Joshua Tree Flower is going to be a medical item, so we probably should just propagate as many Joshua Trees as possible. Nope. Nope, don't want to do that. Man, y'all grow fast. These freaking, uh, prickly pears grow pretty fast. I'll just kind of plant these over here. No reason not to. Because I don't need them to eat right now. And by the time I do, there'll just be like a million more uh, ones to, to do. Case in point, there's more down here. making more food that, than we already don't really need because we've got a lot of stuff already. Alright, let's load in some more uh, copper ore. Okay. Oh, well, I mean, I guess it makes sense. Swimming would uh, cool you off. Listen, sharks, I'm not here for you right now. Well, I guess let's continue digging. Eventually, I'll be not made a liar, and we'll find a... Uh... What, what we're looking for. But until then, we're just going to keep getting all these resources that I don't necessarily need, but I will absolutely take. Like, with all this clay, we could make, like, housing down there. We could make it even bigger. Because this, like, square of, like, stuff over here was, like, originally where those walls were. I just moved them closer to where we're actually living at. So we can have, like, a little beach house. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Maybe for some reason you can't find the underground places like that here. Oh, never mind. Again, usually find it way sooner. But we now have an entrance that's much closer than that. Uh, it's not that far away, honestly. We could very easily... Um, dig our way there. have actually connected this up. Nice. Which means we can just be down here more often. And now I kind of want <laughs> to dig a hole in our house for the same uh, reason. Finding one of those little entrances. Might have to move some of these piles of sand out of the way. 
Like, I'll move them, like, over here, because we might make this house bigger to make up for, uh, the extra space it's gonna take. Well, I will say, all that digging got us, uh, another strength level up or two, which, more carry capacity, so we can do this dumb horse shit that I'm doing a little more easily. I've noticed there's some, a few things in my inventory that I don't need to have in my inventory, like you, cigar, cigar or cactus seed, we'll kind of plant that like there with the other one, I guess. Yeah, before long, we're going to have like a little oasis over here of just food. We already kind of do. Alright, let's extinguish our torch before it like just burns out forever like the other one did. Kind of just forgot about it and then it just like... Alright, we'll move this further down. Okay. Yeah, we could turn all this uh, clay into bricks, and then we could turn that into flooring and stuff. Or walls. Well, we can do that, but then we'll have to uh, bake all the clay. Purified, unpurified, unpurified. Ah, okay, that one is purified. So is that one. So drink. In part, just to get more stamina, because I don't want to rest yet. And who knows, maybe over here there's another cavern that I just haven't found an entrance into yet. It's possible. But yeah, the main the main idea is gonna be uh, connected these ones up together. So I think in this corner here of the house is where we'll uh, facilitate that. There's another strength level up. Which is, our, I mean, our line's up, but again, I'm not really super scared of whatever's out there until I'm made to uh, bite my tongue and something really nasty spawns that I can't deal with. That sh it's gonna, It would have to be pretty uh, grody at this point for that to occur. I 
because my character at this point is fairly powerful. Like, f like almost 40 or so strength level ups higher than I think base. Uh, is there like some sort of stats kind of uh, thingy? Crafting skills. Here we go. Anatomy. Uh, mining is a hundred. It can still increase my strength though. Yeah, there's a lot of skills. Um, quests, skills, crafting, equipment, Tory actions, messages, item actions, notes. Yeah, there's like a bunch of, uh, and these are kind of like a little like hints. Don't judge me, game. Water, water everywhere, nor any drop to drink, yep. Consuming cooked tainted meat may not have been the best of ideas. <laughs> Every step I take feels like closer to death, and each one of those steps makes me weaker and weaker. I'll take the vile organs from a rat. I'll take the bitter seeds from a tree. I don't even need any creepy crawlies. A shark has cut me. If not patch the wound, my situation could quickly become much grimmer. I guess there's some notes I haven't discovered yet. All right, cool. I wish it was a sort of, I'm trying to figure out some way if I can see how much strength I have. No, not that. Not equipment. Skill again. Sk I think. So. I oh, I think skills would be here, and where it would show you how much strength you, ha you have. But maybe not. Yeah, whatever. It's not really worth our time to ponder about it too hard. All right, I've gotten through all the most of the sand at least. Let's keep digging. It helps I can find the, in the uh, entrance to the other ground here a little faster than at the other place because that was painful digging that much. Oh, there's another strength level up. Drop the clay. 
here. Because we'll just kind of, that'll just be our clay, the clay zone. This is just like the, the sand land over here. Gravel's technically not useless either because you can refine it into stones and refined sand, which is more sand. Imagine that, just more sand. Thought I had some rocks somewhere. Alrighty, maybe not. Well, I guess I can put rocks over here. Alright, well... Time for our character to take a snooze. You get probably woken up by like 10 spiders throughout the night. Oh, I'm sorry, not spiders, scorpions. What is this, fucking Arizona? Come here. Come here. <laughs> How's our water doing? Purified! Purified! Yeah, it, it might be worth our time using some of the limestone and stuff I've gotten from here to make more of this. I mean, there is a kiln up there that I can enlist the help of, but first and foremost, let's eat some of this, uh, let's go to our food stock here. Which, this food is lasting a while. Alright, some of this stuff did rot. But yeah, let's eat some of this stuff that's a little less dirt, less fresh. And then we'll go drink some more water. Spider meat is decayed. No! Not like this. Oh, well, would you look at that? There's another spider. What are you doing? What are you doing down there, Stinky? Thanks for the meat! <laughs> Sioink! <laughs> I don't want to catch the shark, I promise. That's what I wanted to catch. Well, apparently I don't need bait to catch these fish at this point. I'm just that good. I just whip it out there and they're like, mmm, nom 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 nom. I can do that every time, ladies. <laughs> Jesus Christ, that was terrible. Uh, we should probably make a floor place in here f for um, medical stuff, like these flowers. And aloe vera, etc. Although aloe vera is not quite as dire of a need because we can just kind of pick that when we need it. We'll keep these fish in here for now. My animal fat, no! Eh. If we really need animal fat, I'm sure we can find it somewhere else. Okay. Desalinating, okay. Drink from you. Drink from the front butt. All right, and then let's refill. 
Yeah, it might be in my best interest to actually uh, make some more stills while I'm here. So I can have even more water. It's not like the sharks can get in here. That's kind of why I do, do things this way is sharks can't swim on this water. So if you do something like this, they just can't get at you when you're out when you're doing this. But since this seawater is connected to this water, it won't like disappear when you grab from it to uh, you know fill your water, your water stills and all that with. So it just works out pretty well that way. I think there's a way to make a well, but I don't know if that would be like where I could pour water into and just have a bunch of water when I want it or how that works. I haven't experimented with it enough. Anyway, back into the house. We're going to keep digging so we can get a little uh, passageway going. There we go. See, that didn't, that didn't take nearly as long. I'm just leave some ashes over here. Before that, I think we'll actually go get that, um... Get a piece of flooring and then we'll grab this, uh... Kiln. Fucking heavy as shit. Alright, spider. No more games. Ugh, spider eggs. My f my favorite. You can you can have those. Enjoy. Well, I turned that fish into I turned that spider meat into a fish. Which with these fish, you can turn them into a uh, two bait. So as long as you can avoid getting like 10,000 sharks like you were seeing, you can just kind of get more bait and fish and bait and fish and... It's a positive feedback loop. Well, it can be. All right. So now that we've got this entrance to the underground here, let's see where it takes us. Well, I shouldn't be surprised. We're, in, we're down here in the dark. The more we can travel underground to go to mine and stuff, the better, because we'll just use less water. I'm digging these little alcoves. So I can just store all this junk kind of like off to the side without worrying about it being all over the place. Well, it's not even really that far. charcoal from oh I bet that's what happened when my uh, my torch decayed all the way fair enough makes I mean makes sense Ooh, we found some copper on this little journey perfect again that is one of the reasons I'm down here 
and even on this island is to get copper so that we can make bronze later by later I don't mean necessarily today but just like in general Oh, I just realized I have this shit on me still, too. That's annoying. I didn't realize I still had all, like, f five billion pounds of, like, clay stuff on me. Well, there's an easy fix for that. After I dig this. I, hmm. Well, that's not exactly where I wanted that to go, but... Drop the gravel, drop more of you. Technically, we can seal that up now. Since we have a, I mean, it's not a direct shot, but it's definitely a lot, a lot faster than what we were dealing with. Okay, now let's head back to base, which is very easy to do. It's like literally right here. I did say, okay, there wasn't much there, but I did say I was going to dig up every piece of stuff that these uh, things would occupy and you know process them properly and that's what kind of what all this sand is from is just clearing out all the damn sand but now we have a kiln here we can use that for fixing bottles and for uh, making bricks to make more floor Cooked Joshua tree flowers. Interesting. I wonder if that's a, some, a thing in real life too, because Joshua trees are most certainly a real plant. <laughs> um. Oh. Well, let's let's eat some of. Uh, some of our lesser fish here. 
actually grab like this four here. And we're gonna turn those into pemmican. Which basically makes them less hunger overall, but they no longer spoil. So, it's a good way to use up the fish that we know is not gonna survive for much longer. And that can go back in there. Cool. Now, let's drink some of this water. In part because I want to fix this bottle. There we go. Good as new, basically. I'm gonna drop these planks here. Alright. Let's find where this copper was. We'll start getting that, because, again, that's why we're here. Ah, right, here we go. Oh, is that it? Well, alright. It's a little unfortunate that there was only that bit of copper. Like, one little <coughs> morsel of it. Alright, and then let's kind of comb around through here. Some iron, not really too bothered by iron. It's not why I'm here. As is, we have like a ton of it back home still that we still have to process. Oh, here we go. Here's some copper. Another strength level up. Oh, goodness. We're gonna... We're we're in we're gonna be in some dire straits when something decides it wants to spawn and kill us because we are a little um, off in the weeds there with the uh, malign. Oh 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 oh! <laughs> As I, I was literally saying, okay, we're gonna have to run from those because those seem like they're very strong. Jesus. Mostly uninjured. Resist slash, pierce, fire, and cold. It's vulnerable to blunt. It might... Mm. I've got healing stuff, so we might be able to fight them off if I have my hammer in my hand here. But let's, uh... Get out of the way, bat. I'll take your food, but... Alright, let's, uh... Build you. Equip you to the main hand, and let's... Don't you fucking run away from me. Yeah, fuck you, skeleton mage. I am victorious! I have more HP than you do, asshole. <laughs> Screw you too. <laughs> okay, we need to we need to debone them. <laughs> What's this? A what? Hello, hello, a freaking skeleton wand? Interesting. Huh. Don't know how useful that is, but that's pretty cool. I got a bow. We got a little mage robe. An ancient tattered robe once owned by a spellcasting foe. Ooh, is that like a little... Is that like a cape? Oh, that's sick. That's sick as fuck. Alright. That's my first time seeing those enemies ever. So I was like, uh-oh. We, uh... Alright, so... 
our hammer is, a, it's a very good we have this hammer, because those skeletons would not have gotten killed by anything else we had. Only blunt damage was going to do anything, really anything tangible to them. What else you got, game? <laughs> Just bullying all the fucking undead. What what else you got, fuckers? Copper, apparently. And that's with me not even having, like, the best armor. Like, this stuff's good, but I could be having, like, iron armor by now. And a better shield than this tin one. So, I... I'm not even in my final form, and I'm just like bullying all the all the freaking undead. Admittedly, they still did a lot of damage to me, but they would have done a lot more otherwise. I don't know if this is, wand is useful for anything. Teleport? What? I'm apprehensive about doing that I don't know what that means does that like teleport me out of the caves I mean if so cool but like I'm just like hmm I don't know if I want to risk that right this second I'm still still I'm still digging I'm still getting copper you know well let's break that Let's see what we got in this little cubby hole. An iron ore, okay. We got some gravel. Skeletons. A freshwater lake. That's I have a have a vague memory of there being krakens in this game, so maybe I don't want to go too close to that. A tin needle. I think we can use that to make a uh, lock pick at some point. Locked ch copper chest. Let's see what we got in here, though. Oh, we got in. A golden ring. Ooh, treasure. Suture. Let's use that to heal. Tin bullet and... You know what? Let's let's let's. Oh, okay. It teleports us this way. Oh. <laughs> well, that's kind of fun. Can you can I use it to zip around a little bit? I don't really. Oh, <laughs> you can skip through walls too. That's kind of cool. Oh, there's another one. Hello. I guess you heard. Thanks. Thanks for the robe, nerd. Thanks for the robe, nerd. And the other stick. I am being a little gung ho with just roughhousing with these skeleton mages, though. They're pretty strong. Um, I do have these bandages, though. I, how much do they heal? I've just been, I just kind of, I've just kind of had them. Uh, 52 to 66. Okay, that's pretty good. Well, let's just leave, I guess. Do, 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 do. Just walking through my little death tunnel here all right well that was fun ish let's dismantle all these bones and add the rest of the bone scraps to our little scrap pile Hmm. 
Does teleporting with this raise your malign? Slightly. But it is cool. And I'm wondering if we could use, like, glue to, like, make it, like, better. One, two. Well, I guess we're gonna just kind of. Just gonna kind of keep these bo in this box over here. Uh, build, and we'll just kind of keep these other robes in there. And once again, this ha the hammer came in clutch for that skeleton fight, because, well... Otherwise, we were going to have a bad time. I also got a bow out of the whole deal. I guess we'll just kind of put that in there, too. Tin needle, tin pickaxe. Cool. Golden ring. Tin arrowhead. Now I'm curious on if I could use um, glue to. Um, if I could use glue to buff the durability of this mage wand and I can just zoom around everywhere. That'd be kind of cool. Uh, let's see. Let's eat some fish. Which gives us a nice health recovery bit there. That was a, that was interesting. I, I hadn't encountered those on these before, and I just went toe to toe with them. That was pretty cool. Uh, all right, copper, you get to go back, and you get to go in this ship. We've got a lot, a fair bit of copper ore. We even got a little bit of limestone to go with it. Um. Let's see. I think I have some. I think I thought I had some tongs somewhere that I looted from something, or I might have left them behind. Actually, uh, three refined sand and one. Yeah, we're gonna use some of this limestone powder and try to make more of these. Again, I thought I had tongs in there, but those must have been from something else. And I'm vaguely apprehensive about going back down there yet until I have um, this water stuff taken care of. Um, hmm. Hmm, indeed. Let's drink some real life water. <laughs> ah. Yum. I guess one good thing about this mage wand is that, like if I get in a bad situation I can just teleport away from enemies. 
Which gives me even more of an incentive to um, try to, uh, maybe it was in here? Gives me even more of an incentive to try to like make this thing a, uh, uh, that's just tin ore. Um, is that another chest up? No, that's a, that's the original entrance or exit or whatever. Hmm. Ah, well, I could probably just make some tongs out of uh, wood or something to get me by. For now. Tongs. I'll make a few of them just so that they can uh, last a while, I guess. Uh, and then. Alright. There we go. There's uh, four more, four more water stills. I'm gonna need more bottles for that, but we could probably make, we could probably manage that too. It comes to we could probably make clay containers for those because it's less vital that those be lightweight. I think you still need corks anyway, though. Which, in our current state, we need to get more wood to get the bark for corks. At least I think so. Do we have any bark left in fire starting? We do, so we can actually make these corks. That we'll need for something. Alright, well let's go this way and get some clay jugs made. I see the thing we're gonna make it just bricks. Oh, excuse you. I'm just sitting here in the I'm just sitting here in the middle of the night making bricks out of raw clay. And this scorpion just walks up to me. It's like, come on, really? Is that ne was that really necessary, scorpion? Ermagerd, Scorpion. <laughs> uh, Grubby, go there. I want to bring these. Um, we can, we can put these jugs in the grub as well. They're not gonna be in there for long. I just need to be able to transport back. I want to bring these, these bricks back home. Fire. 
clay jugs. Let's repair them just for the sake of getting just a little bit more clay throwing for free. We can also cook our food. Frankly, you don't even need a campfire if you if you're doing stuff with the kilns cuz Yeah, it's a uh, tier 3 fire source. So I think it's the same anyway as this campfire. Uh, yeah, you can, we can even cook these Joshua fruits that I guess I have. Didn't think I had those. No, those are the, the flowers. I was like, wait, I didn't think I had those. I thought I turned those to seeds. And the answer is, yes, I did. <laughs> I was just confused because it happens pretty easily. Yeah, what we can do now is go to our nice, our, our brand new sparkling, clean, magical, uh, stills here and put these new containers on there. And then we can do the whole, the, the same thing we've been doing with the other four. And those will desalinate in the morning as well. How much hunger does each of these give? That gives eight. We'll eat that when we wake up. Whenever that may be. Cook the scorpion. Of course the fire went out again. All right, time to sleep. Can you not? Can you not? <laughs> no, thank you. Are you. Can you not? Jesus Christ. <sighs> Cooked chopped fish meat of offering decayed. Well, that's great. Uh, we're going to, um... No, come here. You woke me up. That's what you get for waking me up. <laughs> Ooh, we got some uh, prickly pears. Could probably just start eating those and staying nice and hydrated and, and hunger hungerless or Hunger uh, words. I don't know what the fuck I'm saying. Uh, beach fire. <laughs> Gather some liquid. Make some. Make this glue. After I uh, adjust our order of fluids. All right. And now let's see if I can re reinforce you. <sighs> see, it doesn't look like you can repair this. We could technically do that, I guess, but that's not really. Yeah, these aren't sustainable. Unless you kill an awful lot of uh, skeletons. Which might be in our future. <laughs> for better or for worse. Anyway, we're gonna drop this uh, tainted meat on the floor because I don't have any interest in eating it. 
Let's eat this cooked meat, though. We'll drink some water here. I'm gonna go ahead and just drop this uh, charcoal. Uh, is this? Please tell me it's not lit. No, it's not lit. Okay. I was I was afraid I was wasting my. Uh, I was afraid I was wasting my torch because I've, I've done it before. I've literally done it this stream. Let's see. Let's drop some stuff off. I, I, I noticed that let's see is a thing I say a lot. <laughs> Especially when playing games like this where there's just so much to do. It's like me just saying it out loud to help my, my poor little brain process things. Ah, uh, you are finally ready. trees the little palm tree like the coconut tree army is growing strong and these have already oh snack snack are you aggressive or are you just are you, do you just happen to be kind of in the area oh you're aggressive well you're not that aggressive well, I mean, you're kind of dead. That's why, that's why it's not aggressive anymore, because it's dead. Uh, well. Rip. What is this? Palm leaves. Oh. That's where I was... I was going to try to make a bed out of, uh... Leaves once I get enough of them. Because it's slightly better than just sleeping on the ground. Not by much, but it, by enough. I think there's like a hammock I can make that might be a good uh, substitute. Let's see. Hammock is a rope, some string, and some poles. You made that basically of anything, anywhere almost, it seems like. Yeah, you know what? Let's make one of those. So we need like two poles, which we can get from dismantling this and then we need a rope and now we can make a hammock a hammock of hurling uh, oh that's not <laughs> no you don't <laughs> that's unfortunate that's kind of funny There we go. Now we can sleep there. Isn't that nice? Well, let's let's wander around and just keep replanting all these random desert things. I've got no reason not to just like eat these they're kind of similar to apples in um, effectiveness which I mean I'm fine with like that one gave me three and I basically turned one in, turning one into like four I'm like almost certain there's like different like grow speed modifiers for different terrains. Like I know um, fertile soil gives you at, at base a 
10% growth speed boost, but I don't know, like, otherwise how they compare. <laughs> we're just, we're just gardening. A lot of these tree, a lot of these, um, coconut trees that have been just kind of hang out for a while, not, like, actually, oh, I didn't even, I didn't even see this thing. Is it, oh, it's dead. Well, I didn't even see the damn thing until I was, like, right on top of it, basically. But yeah, a lot of these uh, coconut trees were just not ripened quite yet when I got here. So now, I've spent enough time here, they are. So I can just plant all these and then eventually they'll all just be, you know, there and I can plant them again. Or more likely, I could just start harvesting them for wood. Although once I get a good amount of, um... Once I'm gonna like a decent amount of um, copper, I might not have to come back here anyway, but it never hurts to kind of be extra prepared. Especially when there's like so many coconuts. I was wondering what this was. Well, we, we, as we've got a lot of these trees growing at this point around the area. Like over here, like over here, just throughout. I'm gonna probably start cutting a few of these down. Cause I can just replant them anyway. Yeah, if they're flowering, they're probably closer to being uh, actually fully grown, so I probably want to avoid cutting those ones down. But budding ones have already given us some stuff, so I'm less bothered chopping those down. Like, let's see, it's, what's this one doing? That one's budding. Oh yeah, I, I just recently... Um, Got some from that. No, <laughs> rats like just just womp, wobbling over here and just smack them down. Just well, I probably want to save at least one of these to make like an anvil, but otherwise we're gonna dismantle all the other. Damn it, I did the wrong thing. Let's make all the other logs. Tree bark is a very, very valuable um, kindling in this this zone. Just because there's not much else for kindling. Oh, I just realized that this garbage just put us over weight. I 
We've got all these uh, planks that we can now use to um, Like we just use them to get more kindling or whatever we just need stuff for. If I can, I'll drop this log in the pile as well. Oh, we don't really need these <laughs> fronds anymore, but... We'll just make a, p a nice little pile of them on the beach, I guess. Oh, yep, all eight of them now have purified water in them. And if we, if we were worried about water before, we definitely aren't now. Because, yeah. Four of them is, like, enough to kind of completely sustain you without really any trouble. And eight is overkill. But, hey, overkill is pretty good, too, sometimes. Alright, let's... What is this? A bullet? Go in there. I don't, I don't need a bullet. That's right. I need some seawater because I got some glue that I can make. And this little mate, this little mage robe, I will be uh, trying to keep around. It's just, it's just kind of cool. That gives me a little bit of defense too, especially against slashing damage, which it's a little uncommon for defensive power, I think. Yeah, I don't think much of my armor gives slashing defense. Uh, the fur mittens do. And the leather actually does too. Okay, so. Drop. Drop. Alright, let's make some of these bricks. Okay, so you need eight clay bricks to make flooring. To make a clay furnace, you need eight clay bricks as well. <clears throat> hmm. Furnace two compared to... Ah, clay is a better, does have a better uh, furnace. Okay. Well, sounds like it looks like I know what I'm doing with her. Some of this clay then is making a furnace. Uh, some of this stuff is going bad, so we're gonna. Start making some pemmican out of it, because... Otherwise it's going to go completely to waste. times I 
how much do you have left? 1290, 1249, and nah, we'll just. Alright, well, we made a bunch more pemmican and. That's just like basically guaranteed non spoiled food, so that's not bad. Oh, I do it. I did have tin tongs, I just put them in here instead. I should stuff should go in here. And then this rotten food can go over here like where I've been putting it. Claywall has also ate bricks, so. Crafting also gets us, um, all this clay crafting also gets us, uh, benign because I, I don't know, it, it just does. <laughs> I guess it's like non destructive, technically. I don't, I don't really understand it, but. Certainly something that happens. Let's see. Ah, oh, seven hunger for the reptile meat. I'll just eat one of those. Don't mind if I do. And then drink some water. Gather a few bottles of this stuff. <clears throat> well, in the event that we didn't have enough sharks to fucking fight, there's more. Six. We could probably fit a decent amount more um, more copper in there if we can find it. Okay, yeah, we need an anvil to uh. I need like one more sandstone because yeah I want an anvil to make stuff on here as well oh wow, these go pretty quick <clears throat> 
no real reason not to do this. so we can uh, do stuff with it. Let's see, we got this tin needle that we can use to make a, an, a lock pick with. Maybe not? I need a sand cast flask for uh, turning this needle back to an ingot. Huh. Well, I can't remember what I need for a sand cast flask, but. Green sand, raw clay, blah, blah, blah. Well, it looks like that's what we're gonna do. Let's get some raw clay and some green sand, which I think is, uh... Two refined sand, okay. Okay, there's the green sand, and now we need a raw clay. Which I have literally just one of here, nice. Clay sand cast flask. <laughs> That's a... mouthful all right that got us tending it back and now we can use that to make a lock pick sweet So let's repair this one too. <clears throat> Give me one moment, I'll be right back.
All right, I'm going to be ending this stream now so me and my roommate can figure out what we're going to be doing for food or what more stuff for now. I will be streaming again later. I don't know when that will start, but it, there's going to be at least one more stream later. And if you join my Discord, that's an easy way to see when I will be starting another one. <laughs> but, uh... I'd say at least around like 3.30, 4 or so, maybe, but we'll see. We'll see how, how things are going, because, yeah, I don't really know what exactly is going on today, plan-wise. Let's save my game, and I'll quit the main menu. And quit game. All right, so that is going to be the end of this stream. Thank y'all so much for coming by and hanging out. Appreciate y'all. Let's see if I can raid someone real fast. Let's see if anyone's live. Almost certainly going to be someone that's live. Uh, let's see, there's Venon, Lucian Lutre. Twitchy Charlie. Now let's drop in on Jedi. One of part of part of Birdie's crew. And actually tomorrow I'll be playing I'll be playing some Valheim with Birdie. <clears throat> I don't I'm not gonna be streaming it, but I'll at least very least be playing with Birdie, so I'll probably be on their stream. But yeah, um we're gonna I'm gonna end my stream and we'll be raiding into a Jedi card debt. Playing, uh, let me see, what was it? Uh, Divinity Original Sin 2. I've heard of that game, and I probably should play it at some point, but there are way too many games to play these days. Uh, but anyway, yeah, I'm going to end my stream. I'm going to be raiding into Jedi Cardet. See you there, and if I don't see you there, I'll see you later. Have a great day.